She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now nah, she stands high from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where well, she's mine. Yeah, she's mine.
Miss Lindy. She's a gal with the bright red hair. Now she stands out from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where well, she's mine. Yeah, she's mine. Barry, how's, how's it looking this morning? It's actually better than I thought it was going to be, though, you know, we'll get those at a um, it, it looked pretty bad, though. The predictions looked to look even worse. So, you know, it's turned out okay. We've had some good risk scores, and as the tides have built in, it's actually looking quite a bit better. So, yeah. Yeah, hopefully, it'll stay that way during the day. Definitely, it was, it was a good call. It's always hard to the contest director to sort of make the call and the judgment. So, if we just turned out and went to send it out, but that heat that we had before, we've really been hard getting out. An 8.5 and a 7.0. Definitely thought it was worth putting the bills out in there in the morning. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, who have we got on? That's good. Darren McGarry from my right here. And he's a fleet. I don't think we've had a try skirt to do before. And uh, Sheila Mayron, who's the one right here. Yeah, um, and yeah, she's, she's uh, she came over for the Sea Games a few years ago. Well, I don't think she's been through the Bobby Associates before it's been. How many years were we talking about? Oh, about six, six years at least. Six, six years, and they used to hold them in May. We were just looking at how good the WSL um, yeah, is. They're looking for ways um, to close those, those gaps. It's just been really very effective in the WSL. And we're looking at building the body good call. Yeah, 100%. Um, it's one thing that you think you're getting back to normal, then you have a comp in May and a comp in September. So there is that little uh, lacking thing in May that the girls will pause. I'm not going to look forward to this because it's much makes no difference, but it's kind of split the year up a little bit. But, you know, I'm sure uh, something else is not needed. In this country, there's nearly a cop every week anyway these days. Well, how about the WSL one? But no, but that's the idea, is to get, to get something established, and that's what the joy of having WSL standards uh, in this country to help us sort of deliver and, and get the level of certainty up to that point where we need to the biggest event part of what we're, what we're achieving in this country in the, in the name of surfing. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I know that that's uh, a priority, particularly for you and, and Ukta, which is the United States and Turkey Association. I was talking about that yesterday online. Um, and I just did have that governing body that seems to be the one that everyone's going to accept as being legal. Previous to that, there's been a couple of different bodies in some areas weren't happy with it, and some areas were happy with it. So I didn't really gel. But I'm um, hoping this time around with Ukta, who seems to be a super professional outlet and help. So, super professional group, and they seem to have surfing in mind and, and not any other, you know, ideas of what should happen and what shouldn't happen to all that surfing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Speaking of surfing, I know on Mark Zopa, absolutely ripping those waves out there. 4.50, just out of terms alone. And I've been the glorious battle, the big reward about this. It's good to see. To see uh, Adon out there putting a few turns on it, putting a battle in 
been rewarded quite well, setting the standards of the state and lesson early. I feel like they just had a staff and stuff over there in Thailand also, which is how Annie's hot off the competition. My one of the men as well. No, my one of the men, he was invited over. Um, staff in Thailand is obviously in a similar position to a lot of the South, South East Asian countries. It's not an obstacle that people, uh, this is a regional event that sort of helps give them access to hopefully a few more events uh, with South East Asian circles with a few and thanks to the rest of Australia and also. Yeah, look, and I don't know that this was overly consistent in Thailand. I know it's, I know people have gone there, been there and surfed, but to be honest, I don't know that I've, I don't know anyone that's gone there specifically for a surfing holiday. I'm sure there are people out there that are going to say, no, I've done it and I know some secret spots, but yeah, given where it is geographically, it, it's certainly not exposed to the greatest amount of people. No, I was actually there about two weeks before the event on the way to Mana, and I was actually surprised what the beach was being put out. There was a few little point breaks. I didn't even pay the board, and I regretted it pretty early. Mm -hmm. okay. I was there with my wife also, so I was on my best behavior. Mm -hmm. I decided to choose um, marital status over the self medicating. He's still a young man, I have to say. <laughs> 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 Sorry, 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 yeah, we talk about it every time. It's pretty hard for them to get away from the free surf. It's not just them, pretty hard for everyone to get away pretty from the free surf. Everybody. Especially when it's smallish like this. Um, I did it yesterday, I'll do it again today. Uh, shout out to Johnny Uluwatu, who's back there in Cronulla. He's a guy that does a lot of commentary around town. Um, and he's not overly well at the moment, but I know he's going to come good. So uh, shout out to you, Johnny. And Bunga Mark. Bunga. The, the standard setter of this game. Voice of the ticket to get here, he didn't, unfortunately. Um, Bunga's he's a classic, he's a great commentator, and same as Johnny, like a full grommet. Yeah, you know, <laughs> forever, a forever two, grom. The two oldest grommets I know, <laughs> they just can't get it. If they're not talking, they're in the water. Actually, they're talking when they're in the water, too. That's it. Underwater, maybe, you've got to take a little reprieve. <laughs> But that's, that's also in doubt until it's scientifically proven to get the microphone underwater and you might yeah. just hear a few <laughs> few words being uttered under those guys. But like you say, they're not just great voices in surfing, they're also uh, standout people. And um, great surfers, both of them. Yeah, shredders. Yeah. I remember having Mark out at Cloud 69 up uh, in Pacifico one time watching Mark just destroy that wave. I was, mm. No fear, like you said, forever Grom. Yeah, absolutely. No fear or no idea of what was going on, he was just having a ball. <laughs> And, and making us all look bad. Right. This is a beautiful looking morning. Every time I sort of see the waves rolling in, I'm, I'm blown away. Yeah, it looks amazing. I mean, I'd, I'd love to be out there with only three other people. Without the pressure of a contest on your yeah, shoulders? Well, though. yeah, you know, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from my local Cronulla Point border riders, I've never had the pressure of a contest anyway. And how did you go in that one, Jerry? You you done it just recently? Um, I did one. I didn't go in the last one because I was here. I went in. I've only been in two this year because of certain circumstances. I did win one, but there weren't know. too many in my category. That's, at that's that what stage. I was looking at. That's that's what I wanted to get across. No, the I, line. Did, I did win one. Um, I got to say, you know, a couple of my rivals, uh, particularly Wayne Tight, was not there. So tidy. <laughs> I was glad you were not there. <laughs> A win to win, Jerry. Don't take it away from yourself. Exactly. <laughs> it's all about that elusive W. Uh, and that's a, that's another thing that hopefully we move towards here in the Philippines is that board riders culture, uh, where, where there's a lot of little local events getting pushed around the area. I know it's another thing on the the uh, Opsa radar. Yeah, to, I have. Um, oh, I Diane have... just took one in the face by the looks of oh, it. She? <laughs> She's all right. She'll get back out there. She's a tough kid. I have mixed emotions about all the all the comps and all the border rides. Having been here for such a long time, um, I don't have mixed emotions. I'm here running a comp, but um, you know it, the kids. When I grew up, you went surfing for the love of surfing. Now they do that here too, but they use the term practice all the time. And I never used the term practice. I used to go surfing. Like I'm going surfing. 
practicing for the comp, I'm practicing for this, I'm practicing for that. I mean, it's a different culture these days too. I mean, the kids go to the gym and get, well, I didn't, you know. Yeah, absolutely. I had a beer and went surfing. Yeah. <laughs> we were just talking about that earlier. The professional, the professionalization, the professionalization of surfing is exactly that, Jerry. We're not, we're not having beers and going surfing anymore. We're sort of setting the standard. And one of the great initiatives of, of the uh, board riders and smaller competitions is actually to normalise normalise surfing um, on a competitive level. Uh, one of the things that that um, the Philippines is renowned for you can hold a you can hold a small surfing event. We had a, a training camp um, a few months back, with just a, a small training competition with the local surfers here in the team. It was about for about ten of us, and we had about two hundred spectators on the beach to watch a training camp. So part of the board riders initiative is actually to just normalise competition a little bit. So it's not practising, it's just going down, having a bit of fun with your friends. Yeah, look, my, my understanding of board riders is always just going down with your friends and hanging around. Yeah. Now, board riders are more serious now than they are. They are a lot more were. serious. The board riders I'm in is not a very serious board <laughs> riders, I'll be honest with you. It's a bunch of mates, we like to go out Cronulla Point and clear it out and, and get waves. But, um, yeah, some of the other board riders in my area, certainly uh, Allura board riders and Cronulla board riders, are super serious. Yeah, and they'll have the board riders meet, and, and there's a lot of prize money and a lot of... Um, I guess that's the that's the point right there. There's yeah, money absolutely. involved. Now, money involved. You know? And like I said, we down at... Um, I've, I've got the Kiana. Shout out to the Kiana board riders, uh, if anyone's listening back there. Um, it is. It's a bit of fun. There's a, f a little bit of sponsors. There's a few leashes and stuff given out. Nothing really overboard or fancy, and it's just the culture of hanging out with your mates and having a barbecue, going surfing, and giving yeah. each other crap for having a bad heat, exactly. giving each other crap for having a good heat. Like the bad heat you had yesterday. Oh man, did you? Uh, <laughs> what are you talking about? I wasn't out there. Yeah, right. I was a bloke that looks exactly like me that can't surf, get running around. Uh, it was honestly, I was just, I was just here for the, for the fun of it. I, I get you. I wasn't. I was here to win, but <laughs> it didn't go that way. So I'm going to switch it around and say I was just here for the fun of it. Exactly. And and the the level of skill and talent out there, I still would have gone out in the same form if I was in the women's division. So I'm glad I saved face and joined the men's a little bit. <laughs> but what's next for Upsa? Is there an upcoming event? Uh, what's next for Upsa? Uh, we have Belair, um, an event down in. Belair starting up, on up in Belair up in Belair yeah I forget where we are I'm one of those geography idiots that can't quite get the spots there's an event coming down in, Bel in Belair got someone going left oh that looks like a little barrel that must have Sheila been Sheila May was that Sheila May in white Sheila May Arjona she's a, a goofy footer so it might have been her she might have been cottoning on changing the strategy up a little bit or was so that Sheila May there actually that might have been um, Diane running on the left so the left can be really good out here um, we didn't get the end of that wave I'm not sure what happened there but you know on little days like today it can be a little bit of a trick you know you, you hit on the left everyone's going right there's 30 people going right and two people going left and particularly on that north swell the the more north it gets the more it can sort of run up that exactly that like quite shallow ledge that it sort of finishes on but like I say when everyone's looking right and you're going left you can have the best surf of your life out there and catch more waves than anybody and it barrels it barrels beautifully it does barrel and ends quite heavily and nasty. Um, well, at low tide, you don't want to carry on out there, that's for sure. Yep, yep, we're going to get the last heat winner in for Jerry to have a little chat with. All right, we've got uh, the last heat winner, Sai. Simon Niwa. Hi, Sai. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. How did you go out there? I mean, I know how you went. How did, <laughs> how did it feel out there? Uh, yeah, like, it was high tide, so, like, it was a little bit easier to, like, make barrel, but I was a little bit nervous, so, like, I struggled for, like, 10 minutes, but, yeah, I got good waves in the middle time, so. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was but good. A bit stressful, hey? <laughs> yeah. Well, you've been waiting a while to have a surf, right? Yes, yeah. That's your first round. Yeah, that yes, was my first because you were seated round. straight into the second round. Yes. Yeah, okay, well, so you did pretty well, and look, it's... It looks beautiful out there, it's clean. It's not super powerful, so yeah. it makes it a little bit more difficult. You look like a powerful kind of surfer, so <laughs> yeah. it's a bit hard when the power's not really there. But, yes. um, you know, congratulations on that, oh. that's pretty good. <laughs> Thank um, you so You much. spent some time in Australia, is that correct? Yes. So, yes. What, did you do, what were you doing in Australia? Um, so, I'm going to um, Griffiths University and learning exercise science. Oh, e epic. And yes. so, where are you surfing if you go to Griffith University? Also, like, I surfed in um, like Diva or Snap by in the morning and then go to university and then come back and 
um, under the surf and go work. <laughs> what a life. Yes. What a life. Oh, it sounds Amazing unreal. life, yeah. And you're, you, you know, you're going to university, but deep down you're chasing the surfing dream. Is that, yes. the, you know, you want to then move on up into the bigger QSs and the, and the challenge tour and things like that? Yes. It's your plan? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm learning exercise science for my surfing. So, okay. yeah, okay. I can like... Well, um, so when you learn it, are you going to help your competitors or are you going to keep it away from them so they don't get any better? Well, <laughs> uh, yeah, like it helped me so much. Okay, yeah, good, good. For surfing, yeah. All right, and this is your first trip here to Yes, Chargau. first trip. And what's your feeling about Chargo in the area? Oh, so good. Yeah. <laughs> the, like, especially mango is so good here. Oh, the mango. Yeah. I agree. Look, I have mango in Australia. Actually, I don't have mango in Australia because yeah. it's just nowhere near as good yeah. as the mango here. It's sweeter. I love the mango Yeah, too. so good. Big ma fan of mango and papaya. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love it too. Just eat mango all day. Yeah. Oh, that's yes, good. And you're staying where? Where are you staying? You're I'm staying um, re Resort 303. 303. Oh, so that's, yeah. there's a shout out to Michael yes. and Willia that own 303 yeah, with Resort. With my yeah, Japanese friends. Okay, so yeah. it's just behind the break here. Yes. Just so like two minutes walk from here. Too easy. Yes, yeah, so easy. amazing. Yeah. All right, well, perfect. Well, <laughs> thank you for coming having a chat. Yeah. All the best in the next round, and given that you're an adopted Australian, I'm, I'm going for you. Okay, sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, cheers. Cheers. Yes. Thanks, Si. Much, Thank much appreciated. Yes. We'll talk to you after you win the next round. Okay, sure. All right, cheers. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> okay, so uh, that was uh, Simon Alps Maniwa, and she's a, a Japanese competitor who did very, very well out there, and we expect her to carry on doing really well. Ripped, she absolutely ripped, and you can understand how she can use that tower surfing down the Gold Coast. D bar, a notorious uh, south swell magnet, powerful little punchy beach break. Yes, probably similar to what she's sort of facing out there when it's when it's sort of got this size and direction. It, it could be a little D bar ish, it could be. Yeah, yeah, you got little peaks coming in. Um, I, I know there's not a lot of power in this swell oh, out there. We got, but look at that left. I think you? that is Sheila, mate. Oh. Yeah, with the glare, it's actually really hard to see the colour. I think it's Sheila May. I'm pretty sure it's white. So it Sheila May lives about five minutes from here. Yeah, she could probably throw a stone and hit cloud nine if she wanted to. If I put my golf club out, my one wood, I could probably get <laughs> to her house. If, you, if you're standing um, to right angle, so you sliced it out there, Jerry. I've seen you out on the, oh, on the golf field. I do slice it. No <laughs> question about that. Actually, that might be that might have been um, our competitor, Diane. It's really hard to tell with that glare on it. I guess we'll just have to wait for the scores to drop in and we'll maybe see who it was that way. Oh, well, there's our white, so... Yeah, there's our white there. And there's our green, quiet. so it was, it was none of the ones before. Maybe it was Annie. Might have been I Annie, Flynn Annie from yeah. Thailand. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, folks. It's, yeah. Uh, I know you're seeing the same screen we are. We can turn around and have a look at the surf, but it's a, a fair distance, actually, from where we're sitting, so we are watching the screen as well. Um, and we're not near the judges, so we don't have our spotters, but um, that was pretty slack on our behalf, I guess. <laughs> it was pretty slack on our, on our behalf, but... Anyway, I guaranteed it was one of the surfers. I think, I think we're talking golf um, and not really... Yeah. But Annie Flynn, obviously from Thailand, and, and she had a good little crack on that uh, left hand over there. Even enough so that our surfer in red's actually moved over, changed position and saw that strategy going on, thinking maybe... Maybe she'll have a piece of that with a 4.75 and a 4.5 uh, with this sort of quieter looking heat. Maybe maybe she's safe? Well, you know, I mean, look what they need to advance, nothing. So, you know, someone gets a barrel and, and it's, everything changes instantly. Six minutes to go. I don't think anyone's safe. No, no one's safe. But you always feel good when you're out in front with... If you were out there, they'd probably feel safe. But... Uh... <laughs> It's, it, look, it's nice to be out in front, and she's got second priority as well. So, but it's not quite time to block people. I think it's time to just still get as many good waves as you yeah, can. Yeah, absolutely. And I think she saw that wave that Annie got and might have thought is um, might be worth having a look over there. And and Annie's picked up a four, so she has know, got a four. It wasn't a bad idea at all. Um, that's the third highest scoring wave in the heat. So that all she needs now is a three point ten to take over second position so there's you know no one needs anything you know Sheila May only needs a 4.85 so um, you know they just need to get a wiggle on now and if they're not going to get one big one start building blocks out there yep absolutely yeah five minutes you want to start building those blocks a little bit more hastily yeah yeah and it's a shame they're out of position for that little one it's a funny swell the swells a little bit north so you get you get ones with no walls and some with too many walls but it, it does open up that left hander so that's 
It does, and it also opens up a few peaks. Um, usually you don't get that section coming up. Yeah, there is Sheila May. There is Sheila May now. Not quite committing to that first turn. Not a bad little wrap on that second one though. Just gonna hang on, and keep going, and out the back, Diane. All right, she's pushed it all the way in. She's finished it off, so that's pretty good. Diane's a similar looking wave, ran out of wall. She's going to race out there and get priority before Sheila May. Well, not just priority against Sheila May, also racing that clock. Like I said, the, I don't yeah. think any of those are going to get to that um, that 5.5 of the 485, but definitely those building blocks you're talking about, Jerry. Looks like they might start hitting down that requirement, throwing away the 175 and the, the 225, I think, might be definitely gone for, for Sheila May. And Diane, look at these waves rolling in. Is that the score? So Sheila May just got a 2.2 because it was 175. So they didn't, they didn't love the wave? They didn't love the wave. Not I quite. guess the first turn wasn't much of a turn and then there was a cutback and, and all she did was milk it in. So I guess the judges aren't looking for that. They're looking for a barrel and, and commitment. They are. And speaking of commitment, looks like a bit more of a committed turn on that one. Annie Flynn dropping in on that one, just losing the, the fins on that opening turn. As she went over the boils, it's the other sort of... Uh, tricky part of cloud nine, especially on a swell like this, you're not sitting in your standard uh, yeah. takeoff area. You sort of have all these markers and they all go out the window on a smaller, exactly. um, strange direction swell. Sometimes the boils can be extremely helpful. Sometimes they can and um, other times. Sometimes they can hurt you. Just pull, you're striking hard for a wave. It hits a boil, flattens off right where you are, and then all of a sudden you're looking to continue and go over the shaft because you have to continue you can't back you off. have to continue and you can go down in glory or you can go down in a bit of shame yeah. by throwing your board and screaming <laughs> um, as I've done often uh, either way on those bigger days it usually ends up in the same result with half a surfboard oh, yeah. and it's amazing how infrequently people get injured touch wood out here and how frequently boards are broken out absolutely here. it's it's a heavy notorious wave and yeah most of the time the victim is, is the surfboards i once uh, was out there not on a big day i was in three or four foot and i broke a board perfectly in three pieces like to the measurement it was perfectly in three pieces i, I believe i heard this story you also done a fin or uh, a leash on that same exchange or that was a different no one? no a different day i went out stimpy's which is a left-handed near here i was out there with ross robinson Oh, oh he, that's a shame. And he's going down again. I was out there with Ross, Ross Robinson on a big day, bigger than we thought. And, I, and I, we paddled out there and Ross got the first one. Well, Ross is just an absolute mad dog charger yes. anyway. You probably shouldn't have spent time with him. Oh, it was a mistake. <laughs> Ross got the first one and then I realised that what he had was not a set. So the set mowed me down, snapped my board, snapped my leggy, ripped my leggy through the back of my board. It was a nightmare. And then I was just flailing. There was only two of us in the surf and it was big, you know. I was actually... So broken leg, broken leash, and it ripped the plug through it also. Yeah, yeah, did it all. Did Triple it whammy, all. but also three pieces of a board. That's, that's I've another done it all. You've done it all. I've wiped out in every possible way there is. <laughs> if there was a competition for that, I tell you what, I'd be world champ. Ooh. I think there's a lot of claims to that one, Jerry. It's a hard, hard yeah. title to get a hold of. Two minutes. Uh, now all we need to set here, and anyone can still, you know, uh, Anna and Sheila May can still make it through. Absolutely. And then, uh, Matt uh, Oka, obviously, uh, still out there in the lead. Um, five four five to take out first. And the other guys look like they're going to need a result closer to uh, maybe a five or a six to catch her. So she may be safe in first, but like I said, it's surfing. Well, now I'm, the now better I'm that thinking, clock goes. Yeah, now I'm thinking she's relatively safe in first. But, um, yeah, all they third and fourth only need to get into second. So, you know, stay patient. A minute 24, I don't see much on the horizon there, but... From that angle, the waves are actually coming in a bit from the left. So that angle doesn't give you a really good indication of where the sets are. No, absolutely. You don't see them coming to your screen until just before they're actually going to hit. Yeah, those those wide ones we haven't seen no. at all. No, and that's because we don't have a second tower to put another camera on. So we're because we lost the whole tower, and, and this could be Sheila May's that last hurrah. a bit more of a committed turn, opening a bit started, but it's also a smaller inside wave. Um, Sheila May obviously trying to take advantage of the small clock. Was that a little little fist pump? Um, I think she was just scratching her nose. <laughs> we were talking before about claims, Jerry. Oh, I, don't. Um, I, don't. I deduct a point. You don't want me judging. 
And that's no offence to anyone out there that claims, but um, I'm old school. We, 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 were, uh, we were just discussing about the emotional claim. If you're stoked and you had a great way, putting your hands up and having a bit of adulation, as opposed to milking points and trying to trying to convince judges you're better than you actually are. Yeah, Big yeah. difference. There's a huge difference. Yeah. <laughs> Look, sometimes it just happens. You, it you does, know. and my arms have been above my head and I, as I've come out of the impossible barrel. What's going on out there? Have we got the caddies sitting in right next to everyone? Oh, that might be the next heat. We've got 14 seconds, so they've sort of run in, but... It does look like a mess of people at the moment. One, two, three, four. Oh, we've got a water photographer out there as well. Yeah, that's uh, Tim. Tim Haynes out Tim there. Tim Haynes might be Ollie Bayer at this stage. Tim might have got out already. Oh, okay. This is a beautiful surfing style from our surfer in Yeah, um, yeah. Red. Well, I, my call is she's pretty safe now. <laughs> Finally, Jerry's conceded that she may be safe yeah. as the buzzer hoots. Let's go for a break. I'll um, see you back here shortly at the um, San Miguel support um what's it called mate <laughs> good chat it's the 26th Sur international surfing hey, championship um brought to you by san miguel see you soon Uh, looks like we may be back in action. I'm just waiting for those scores to come in. Looks like a barrel from green, a potential barrel. Last heat of the women out there in the water. Who have we got, Jerry? Uh, we've got Simono Sato. She's a Japanese competitor. We've got uh, Maria Mingalunas, who is from the Philippines. Anime Alapaya, who a very well-known uh, Filipino surfer around here. And Sari Jabrik, which is Tippi's daughter, who's one of our other commentators and a very well-known uh, Indonesian surfing family. She's just young. I think she's only 14 or 15. Um, yep. Yeah, the, the Habrik family, um, leaders in, in the surf scene over there in Indonesia, setting the standard. Um, Asian Surfing Co., also Indonesian Surfing. TP's been the man behind the scenes for uh, many, many years. He used to be a QS man himself. I think he loves coming here. He doesn't have to do the organising. He can sit around. Brought the family. The daughter, he went in the comp as well. He's doing a bit of commentary and he's just chilling. Well, I believe he's going back to back heats this morning, so his daughter will be in there and then oh, he'll be okay. in there himself. So, well, I spoke to his wife yesterday and um, she was telling me that um, the very last holiday they had before the um, the very last holiday they had before the uh, pandemic was here. For the epic. event, epic. That's so here we are, essentially three years later. It's amazing, isn't it? It, it 
it's just left a hole in the lives of so many people. This this pause that we had to have. Yeah, a um, little uh, little black hole that people will remember not fondly, I don't think. But uh, no, but we'll. Ah, uh, we'll we'll sort of yeah, we sort of talk about ah, uh, this happened last year, and and we it takes us a little while to to realise it's not last year. It was actually uh, 2019. Uh, but for our, our last heat, we had our Japanese surfer and on Matsu Oka uh, going through with a, a pretty impressive win, and also pretty through to the quarterfinals will be Diane Nagalo. So uh, Japanese back back there, um, showing their their talent and their <coughs> their strength in here at Cloud Nine. Um, Cloud Nine is a uh,
That's right. Something that I've struggled with in the past, to be quite honest, you know? Yeah. You can, you can, you can live here as cheaply as you want or as expensive as you want. It really depends on, yeah. on, what, on what you demand. Yeah. And then something like, you know, price, this and that. I've got to look here today and now, you know, learning to start here is really, really affordable. It is, you know, yeah. I just keep it down because, like, all the locals, you know, making good income, you know, from the way that they have, the way that they serve everything over there, and they're making money from it, it's, it's really good. Yeah, it's a, you know, where would you like to be without, without the waves at this point, you know? Yeah. And some, you know, some of the older people in Chicago, some of the older locals, they said they never, they never imagined when they were growing up that the waves would end up being their most valuable resource, you know? For sure. So, it's something that we started really for that period, you know, in season. Yeah, and then in the first the surfers started coming in the 90s, but it wasn't even until the 2000s that, it, you know, people started coming regularly, you know? So like it's not a cloud nine as it is in the That's right, exactly. So yeah, going back to uh, the beach, uh, right. it's about our own. It's like we didn't have enough uh, on that last wave. We were then like three deep in that barrel, and then the three and over looks like uh, it wasn't that he's looking for. So he's going back again, back in the line. Back in the line. Yeah, you know, we have a fight here on the floor now. You know, that's me. We have to wait until blue, green, and white to come. Right. Or he's really like a, uh, you know, putting a position where they want to go for a wave and they didn't go, so the rotation goes to the next uh, number as well. Right. So that puts a lot of pressure on the... Uh, Perfect. Right. Right. Then, only five, uh, five minutes and 40 seconds left and being was in priority. Sometimes, uh, 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 you know, not having priority is also uh, a good thing. I know it is a good yeah. model. Oh, God, are you going to go and sleep on that one? No. He knows how to get there. Yeah. <laughs> I can hear the fans on the beach all screaming now, yeah. too. That was a good one. Every time this guy takes off, the crowd goes wild. Well, I think he's going to better his five seven five in that one. Yeah? Yeah, that was a, a, a bigger step. Okay. He was uh, uh, standing tall on that one. You're going to see on the replay, if you can see on the replay, how, how did he execute that wave. This is uh, Elvis, also in a nice looking wave. He's looking for his goal, so. Right. Okay. Okay. At the back, we have Noah. He's going to take advantage of this one. And everybody going back over here in this set, uh, huh? Waiting on the line with red, because red has the last yeah, wave. Before it's yeah, before yeah. And uh, all the three surfers took on in that wave, and now red they just have to sit and wait for the score that uh, all these three surfers taking, and then uh, maybe if there's a step behind, that's going to be the yeah. chance. Who do you think got the best of that last exchange? I'll just say Donald Miles, Donald Miles. Donald Miles, yeah. 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 This is a bit of a test for our age for Baron, but he's been a little bit of a test if he could be made. There you go. Nice turn. This is to be the, you know, the score that you're looking for, yeah? Which is super important for Farouk. Right. And there's the two steps. You see that his mom and his dad, uh, Rizal, is watching at home, you know, his brother. This is a, you know, a moment where the whole family is watching. Holding their breath, waiting for the scores to drop. Four minutes to go, and he needs a 5.56. Five, five, and then also Elvis looking for 9.05. No one looking for a 6.60. And John Mark. Waiting for your last four is definitely not. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So, the excitement here in the last five minutes. I think this is a good week. This is a time where the judges get their, you know. That's right. It's so, uh, yeah. I was, uh, to be honest, I think we were anticipating this was going to be a big heat. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it's, yeah, it's, uh, hasn't failed to deliver. Wow. You know what? Out of those uh, exchanges, Elvis and John Mark have an equal score of a 65. So, uh, the judge, there it is, yeah. The judge, you will reward them a good number if they have that big, uh, what do you call it, uh, wow. Right. So, still waiting for Noah. So, Noah takes, uh, he can only score a 69. So now, yeah, he got the best one in yeah. the so that is Elvis on his uh, 635. He was behind the curtain, 
the second was in front of him, and there was a big one, and it was melting up the leaves. They are really finished away. That's the reason why it was 65. And then the next one was Nora did, but it is 4 and 6.9. Wow, and this is the big one from, uh, he was, he, he was, he was, we didn't think he was coming out. That's the guy from the uh, Harvard. This is going to be an interesting situation because all of them improved their score. Right. All of them. And Paul oh, Harvard got an 8 5. Right there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. yeah. Moves into first. So with all wow. the, with all of the teams, <laughs> everybody improved their score, but right. Harvard got an 8 5. Right, there we go, with just two minutes left. Oh, yeah, and the Baron is second. Our priority right now is to just hold on to it. Just control the heat right now. Yeah. Because even though our analysis with a 595 or a 65 still can get big changes. Yeah, that's, you know, that's quite, what do you say, I mean, it's doable at this point. We've seen some big scores at 8.5, 6.9, so we're out of us. We definitely still have a chance to get that way. But with only one minute and 20 seconds remaining, we'll see. You know, like I said before, Elvis was uh, looking for a 9 before, like five minutes ago, and now he's looking for a 6.5. That's the reason why he's uh, still looking for a score. Everybody is looking for a 6.5. Right. So Noah was... Uh, I'm going to be sitting in the second week, you know, throughout all the weeks, and now he's sitting third. We're all in third priority, looking for a 595 with a one minute to go. Yeah, it's a tough situation for sure, but you never, you never know. It's never over until it's over. I remember a few years ago, Marimar winning the international title with just seconds remaining. I don't know if you remember that one, 2018 or something like that? 2019 or something like that. 2019? Yeah, looking to call with Luke, and then uh, you thought, no, that's going to take up. Like that week, yeah. yeah. And then, uh, boom, last second. Yeah, last second. I think it was like an 8 or 5 for that one. It was, a, it was around an 8.5 or something. I was in the tower commentating at that time as well. And the whole the whole time it was just holding their breath, waiting for that score as the heat ended. And yeah. When they announced it, the power just erupted. Yeah. It was a great moment. Yeah, for sure. Right, here we go. So it looks like Noah Arts uh, felt it. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to be a little bit disappointed, I'm sure. Yeah, because with 12.55, it's true that that's the end of the season. Right. So congratulations to Marimar and Varun. You guys are surfing uh, into the next round. We'll be back after a few short messages.
uh, everybody watching this uh, around the world. This is um, the 26th uh, of the uh, Christian God International Social Club presented by uh, Santiago. All right. So here we go. This is uh, we have two major circles on this one. This is Kuta M1 from, uh, from Bali. And also we have Tony Anwar. And then uh, we also have uh, Jeff De La Torre from Philippines. And also Manuel uh, Palmiano. I have to say he's uh, representing Korea in this event. Okay, yeah, yeah. He's, uh, he, he based also in the uh, Philippines before. But uh, in this case, uh, representing the Philippines. Right. And Jeff is from Delatoy from Laranian, San Juan Laranian, north of Manila, representing Luzon. Yeah, wow. Looks like a couple of good exchanges already happening there. Yes, yeah. right. Jeff Delatoy has a 665. And then also put the MO on another five two five and only this uh, with a one zero. Looks like they got things started right away in that heat while they were on the break. Yeah. But uh, actually Jeff has to score. We have a three five and a three one five. So we did have a really fast start. Really fast start. Really fast start. Yeah. There's blue. This is Kanoa Fabiano. Oh nice that's like that from Kanoa. But Kanoa also uh just a lot in the way pool in Korea. Traveling in the Asian window, also. It looks like he's going to be one of the, you know, kids that was just a lot in the Asian region. He right. Was, uh, he has a pretty good backup from uh, his family, his story, but a couple of you also. So um, we have Kutra Ermolan with the uh, highest single score so far on this week. I suppose they're starting to have a lot of competitions in Indonesia now. Yeah, they do. They're starting to open up again. Yeah, we do. We have, um, last year we had the CT happening in Juan. Right. And then now, 15 years later, we have the event in Peru, Mia. And uh, I think, you know, running at 35,000 in Indo is uh, just too too much. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the aerial view uh, of uh, Cloud 9. You see all those uh, rays in the bottom. As you can see here, this is Jeff Delatore. Oh, it's just a super busy guy here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you catching three rays? Maybe this strategy is catching as much rays as I can. <laughs> and then everybody's got it. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes that can be a good idea, especially if there's not too many waves coming through. Just jump on everything you can and see what happens. Yeah. Sometimes like the, the plans that you never planned, as, as long as it's consistent, Right. It could be worth it. Yeah. And there is no, uh, there's no 10 wave maximum in this, uh, in this event. I was asking Ty earlier. He said, no, unlimited waves. Unlimited waves. So why not go crazy out there? Why not go crazy out there? So as you can see, this is uh, the boardwalk. It's sad to see the tower like this at the moment after that. The typhoon we had last December 16. You know what? You know, if it doesn't kill you, you're going to come even stronger, so that's right. The boardwalk is, uh, I have to say, it's way stronger than the last one. So <laughs> this one uh, I think the, the local community, the government, uh, putting up with a solid concrete, as you can see, there's yeah. a there. We made a, uh, you know, before it was a rickety old wooden tower. And I think like, like most uh, buildings, businesses in Sarga, they're, they're actually rebuilding stronger than ever. Yeah, but you have to also learn about, you know, the reason why they're using those woods. It's also for, you know, like the aesthetic looks also. It looks yeah. right. It looks good, you know. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's true. true. Yeah. When we're rebuilding uh, after this typhoon, we're all thinking, should we rebuild with cheap materials so when it happens again, we won't lose that much? Or do we invest more and rebuild with concrete and things that will last longer? I'm not sure what it, which one is the best for that either. Because at the end of the day, you need to, you need to uh, you know, like, test it also. You know, like, we haven't, uh, I don't know, if it's, you know, the last uh, boardwalk and the, 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 the lookout towers stand for, I don't know how many years. Maybe like 15 years. Yeah, quite a long time. So, uh, it's proven it's, uh, you know, it's a good yeah. investment. It, it's an iconic, iconic look. Yeah, that's right. So this one uh, is a new tower, new uh, boardwalk. We have a um, pretty long walk to get into the, uh, into the 
to this there. Yeah, to this curve, and then uh, you can see that it's quick and there's also a couple of iron cores on the left, and there's a couple of iron at the back. Yeah. And that's the, ooh, you almost get that three there. That's <laughs> great. Drone cameraman uh, here with uh, Sam Norwood driving the drone, and uh, you almost get that. Uh, What's that big? There's a bit of a chocolate going on here. Right. Right. So, um, right. Here we go. Still out. Coming in now. Coming out. So, on the unwind red, still out. Uh, having first priority. We're still out. Well We're in blue. Uh, we would like to invite uh, Baron Tanjung uh, interviewing for, you know, winning the last week. So, uh, we'd like to welcome Baron. All right. So here we go, this is only on one. Now one is wrapping around turn there, super sharp and uh, strong there for Moni. Yeah. So I'm here with uh, Varun. Hey, Varun. Well, well, well done, man. You got an 8-5, yeah? I was nervous. And then only a few minutes left at first priority, and that can say about like the race race for me. Yeah, you know what? Like, um, you have fourth priority in that one. I did? You have fourth priority. All the three surfers, uh, you know, that has all those sets. And you know what happened? They all came back just to work your sets. <laughs> and you got a big turn. How do you feel? I feel good. Um, it was a tough beat, so I had this young boy from Belgrade. Yeah, I yeah. Big beat for him. And of course, the leg in my mouth. I knew that was going to be hard to beat, but yeah, it's just stay focused. Get the job done, and I did. Yeah. You want to say hello to you know, friends and family at home? Yeah, I know. My family's watching. I bet my, I bet my mom's nervous on that one. I bet your dad almost had a heart attack. Sorry, Dad. Sorry, 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 sorry. Your, your son is going to make more heart attack situation in, in the future, right? Yeah, there's a lot of uh, kids coming in the, in, the, in the future, yeah? So, um, what is your strategy for the next uh, week in your life? Yeah, it's still comes a couple ways, you know? Yeah, next round, probably be smarter with the priorities this year. Yeah. Make a couple mistakes, not going to small ones. So, like, you know, that should be priority for the best one. Yeah. It's like, Oni is working on this one, yeah? So, um, Oni is uh, currently sitting in the third position, but we have a really good score of 575. Yeah. yeah. So, if you're out there, um, of our own, and uh, you just win your heat, what kind of uh, strategy are you going to do? Are you going to wait like, like you did and then get that big five, or are you going to do it actively? I feel like priority could be good for you or bad for you at the same time. Yeah. You don't want to wait too long, and you don't want to like, go on the bad one and go on the same time. Yeah. So, it's very tricky, especially to live like this, and today is pretty slow. Yeah. Yeah, and also um, before your heat, uh, we have Bronson also leading the heat now. Yeah, yeah it's just like a uh, new boy who's doing strong. So we're doing pretty good in the rankings. Hopefully, we can all travel together soon. Yeah. This year is going to be amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, you still need to, uh, you know, lock up a bit points, you know, because Bronson also is sitting at 90%. If so you can yeah. improve his uh, position and uh, collect more and more points, and uh, you know, you know what? A thousand points is a thousand points. I'll put eight yeah. points down. Yeah. It's just that I thought I can be sitting in uh, the second right now. He's uh, just got a battle there. And uh, he just puts our head on. Yeah. I just made very similar to last race with the same break. Yeah. So I feel like he could do really good out here. So you also, uh, you know, you win this event before. You won it before. Yeah. Yeah. So Oni Anwar is sitting in first place now with a 7 5 and a 5 7. And Pusha is sitting in second, yet with a third place, and Kanoa Damiano in the fourth place. So uh, looks like Oni is uh, doing pretty good there with uh, you know, no bell, bell, uh, uh, wave, but uh, just crashing it. Yeah, yeah. So we're just a little bit um, early now. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of weird, yeah. Yeah, it was also, like, 
Tell me a little bit about your board. What, what board are you writing up there? I'm writing Hydro Radius 511, um, Rotten Tail. I write that word a lot in Bali. Just because it illustrates something like really good in the pocket. And I stretch in the barrel as well. Yeah. It's all around board. I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's this like? You know, you want to take it out? Take it out. 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 The chart for it, yeah. Just keep keep surfing well, yeah. and then uh, hopefully you're gonna get a good, good result. Yep. Let's go. Yeah. Good job, Larry. So yeah, I'm back here with Tim. Uh, this is the great uh, uh, Robert Bandrum, up and coming local, so, uh, sorry, Indonesian surfers from uh, from Bali, Indonesia. We got it out. I was swimming on the last beat. That was a beautiful way to uh, knock Manama out of the top spot. Yeah. On first in that heat. Yeah, Manama is good. Just made it into the next round. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Army Anwar. Army singing the first of his name. Trying to do the impossible there. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you don't know if you don't try. Yeah. So he's pushing him on. So from Indonesia, trying to do. Oh, wow, a nice uh, mm-hmm. grab rail at uh, 360 there. It's nice when uh, you see the surface doing some different maneuvers. Yeah. I mean, Cloud 9 is a barreling wave, and that's what, what the points are being rewarded for, but it's also nice to see uh, variation. Yeah, try to mix it up. Of course, we, we're going to get it for uh, the ride. This is green. This is Jeff. Jeff is from Delatore. Ooh, nice turn there from Jeff. He's looking for a 7 there. You know, one thing here is for sure that the wave tapers super fast. Right. Yeah. So when you when you come out from the barrel and then uh, you have a section to do like two or three turns, that means that wave is just linking up perfectly. Right. And then uh, as you can see there, it's that wave. It's a really good looking wave, but there's only two two maneuvers that you can link up. Right. Yeah. So you can see the demo on and his uh, setting up turn here. You want to do a big Aerial grab rail to the face of the other guys. And he managed to do like two more turns after that ride. That should be interesting. That should be. Wait, wow. no. It's just like. It's in five. They like it. Wow. And that's what we're saying about showing some variety and progression. Progression. I haven't seen, seen a few aerials, but not too many. Most people just going in the barrel. So. So I think it's, it kind of wakes up the judges when they see something different. Yeah, you know, I think it takes their seats a little bit and like, whoa, oh, what's going on? Like, <laughs> did I score that high or should I finish the review like normal score? So, you know, like a, a good action always, you know, bring some spots into the into the numbers. Yeah, you know. right. Still just less than ten minutes to go, so yeah, a lot of time. It's like a, it's almost like a. Noah and Jeff need to find like a, one of the best waves right now because if they surfing on the inside trying to get in the yeah. actual wave, it's kind of like a slow wave yeah. around right. on Noah trying to do his uh, signature yeah. wave. Signature, I don't know what they call them now. This <laughs> is People like this, I don't know, I need to. Need to uh, yeah. ask him what was uh, his signature maneuver that he yeah. wanted to call. You know, I could have rode out of it, but in the white water, so I, I don't know if that really yeah. counts for too much, does it? No, you need to, you know, you need to really like uh, get off with uh, with a uh, lot of control on it, you know. Right. Like, like you can see here, he had all the setup on, right. on it, you know, he, he rotated perfectly, but you know, as you can see, he's a bit stuck on the top and right. all the way down. The, the recovery was still like he was stuck in the white water. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. So late and. You, you see, like a lot of the progression of, of surfing maneuvers, they learn a lot from skateboarding and not just snowboarding. Right. Yeah. A lot of the grabs, a lot of the transition, you know. Yeah. So say originally it was it was there was skateboarding that developed the surfing, and then it was skateboarding that influenced the surfing in the end. 
was uh, I was coming to the 50s and 60s. I think I really did it in the 70s and 80s as a way to surf on the line. Yeah, surfing, yeah. surfing started like since two time and also time back in the 30s. Why? Yeah. Why? And then uh, this one said, it's even older than that. You know, right. in Hawaii, surfing was already, you know, being uh, being practiced by the royal family, like, you know, almost hundreds to, you know, hundreds to a uh, couple of millennia uh, before. Right. And then in the older, uh, I don't know what they call that, civilization in Peru, there's a couple of millennia even before that one. They said surfing was being done in that area. Okay, I haven't heard that one yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, surfing is an, it's an older board riding board riding sport. It's just it's natural, isn't it? Yeah. People see the waves and they just want to get on, and I think that's just a natural human instinct. Yeah. Right? You think about it, you need a nice pathway for skateboarding. Right. Right. You need to go to the snow. Right. But you know, human and ocean, they have already been interacting since million years ago. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Never, never, never thought about surfing as a, the mother of an old boy riding that's right. sports. Yeah. I think about 70% of humans live close to the ocean, so, you know, we've always had that connection. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, there's a bit of a history uh, 101 about surfing because <laughs> all the surfers are never going to let people say, ah, oh, surfing is uh, started late. Yeah, yeah that's right. Here we go. It's only on a on the Really strong rotating uh, off the top there. Not the biggest wave of the heat, though. Yeah. So coming up next, we're going to finish this round three of the men's division. Yeah, after this, after this, uh, after this round three, we're going to move. Yeah, we're going to move into a round of 16. And right. then after that, we're going to have quarterfinal and then semis and finals. So. That's when Jerry Keegan gonna, you know, pick and choose the right position. Mm -hmm. right. You know. We still have a few days to finish this comp, so I, I think, uh, yeah, I think we have lots of time to, yeah. to pick the best conditions yeah. to run those final final rounds. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the easiest part, uh, one of the easiest se uh, season that Jerry's gonna have because there's not many. Uh, International surface game, but still, you know, right. you know we, we broadcast this globally, and hopefully next year we're going to have more surface on here. The reason why uh, traveling is a bit hard because, you know, slide is really expensive these days, right. and, and people are really, you know, I don't know, they, they go locally, they go domestically, and, uh, you know, traveling internationally locally is not a bad thing. That's right. You know. I mean, I, I guess the global pandemic is. It's kind of coming to an end and traveling is getting easier, but it'll take a few months for, for the travel industry to kind of recalibrate again. Yeah. So as you said, flights are expensive. People are still yeah. worried a little bit about traveling through airports and what yeah. might happen. So yeah, there's a there's also a study that surfers love to travel. Right. And uh, trying to tell you know surfers just to surf their local place, they might not do that. They right. want to travel, you know, if you. I don't know, if you, if you from Australia, like you surf like snipers every single day and you heard Byron's pumping, there's a, there could be a re, there could be like some or two people that say, I'm going to Byron just to, 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 you know, to try different ways to ride or something like that, I don't know. But that's what human, you know, that's the reason I'm here. <laughs> I don't want to get to the real way. I surf my local break in Kangoo and I'm fighting with hundreds of tourists and saying like, hey, I'm a local. And they say, yeah, right, you're not a local. So <laughs> I'm not really just missing Bali because, it, you know, I, I used to spend about one month every summer. When it's uh, low season here, I'd go spend a month in Bali, but of course, because of the pandemic, I haven't been there in about three years, so yeah. I'm, I'm really hoping that next year I can get back to Bali again and surf Uluwatu and Kangu and, yeah. wow, look at the bad one, right? Oh, there's a memo on. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's a good time because uh, we kind of missed the, the, the south part, right? Where the, where it's putting in. So we gotta replay on that one and yeah, get it blue. So what is when is the low season of uh cloud nine? Really uh June, July, August, September. Oh, that's our high season. Yeah. So that's uh, I, I think that's like it's kind of complimentary because yeah. our high season starts now. It starts in October, it goes through the winter. I mean the peak with the 
the big wave is going to offshore. It's just October, November. But even when it turns onshore during December, January, February, March, we have a lot of spots that are protected. You can surf like Rock Island, the Skimpies, Salvation, a little bit smaller spots in the south of the island like Kiwan and Onion. Yeah. So really, I mean, from, from October all the way through to the spring, you can always get some good surf somewhere in Staten Island. That's what's so great about it, you know? But then uh, going into June when it's the dry summer season, everything gets a bit flat for it. Yeah, about June, July, August, September. That's that's definitely our low season, and so that's why, uh, like I said, I would have to buy it for a month in August usually. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, looks like the time on uh, that three week week. Yeah. Mm. yeah that's, that's, just, that's interesting what you say about low low season and high season. You know, like um, we do we, we do have a you know a lot of place and destination, but kind of playing that there is low season and high season, but probably these days. It's just like all season, you know, you can surf all year round. Right. You see tourists all year round. But since the pandemic, it's a bit changing, changing a little bit now. Right. right? You, you, you only see tourists like in a couple areas. Like there's a lot of people in Changu, there's a lot of people in Uruwaki. So the usual places like, you know, not from places like, you know, a little bit off, you know, from the main spot. Right. You might still find stuff in top. Yeah. I thought, I thought Bali would be quite crowded again by now, but I guess it's going to take like more time, yeah. It's the best thing again, you know. I mean, I guess that's like Star Valley here. There is a lot of tourists on the island now, but it's still nothing compared to 2019 before the pandemic. So, you know, having stayed here throughout the pandemic, and a lot of this, you know, that there are tourists coming, there are foreigners coming now, and that's really helping the local economy to recover after that typhoon, so we all appreciate the tourists that are coming here now, yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, it'll take a while if we ever get back to the levels of yeah. tourism that we had in 2018, 2019. Yeah, I think the world has a peak of tourism in those, in those right. Right. Yeah. So going back to, uh, to the beach, we have 30 seconds to go, looks like the two Indonesian are solid sitting in the first place, which was good enough for right. Uh, from Korea, so no one is having combo is looking for 13.7 and also just looking for an 8.9. So here we go, this is uh, just a few seconds remaining. Yeah. So push your hand on from Lambongan, looks like taking out that heat. And uh, and that's the end of that. Three seconds from Jeff also represent my Indian. That's right. That's uh, many surfers from all over there. Philippines and you know, the surfers from, from around the Philippines actually really starting to do well now. Yeah. What I've noticed the last few years is it was always the Shardau surfers winning these surfboard competitions. Yeah. But in the last couple of years, it's been surfers from Belair, surfers from La Union, surfers from Sorsagon yeah. winning these competitions. And I think the, the guys from Shardau now are really going to have to think about this and step it up. And step it up. Yeah, because Shardau is... Uh, not always winning everything anymore. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we'll be great. We'll be, uh, be, we'll be back after the, the break. Yeah. Have to be safe.
Can you share it for you? First try in 825. Let's check this replay. Effects um, of round 32 with Garfi. Japanese surfer in blue, and another Japanese surfer in red. And we have two local boys, Kristo Aitala and Eduardo Elsiso. I believe Kristo has won this event a few times in the past. And that would be nice to see how they go um, head to head with the two Japanese and two local boys. So this is the Dog Surfing Festival, presented by San Miguel. Next gen, this line, this is Sports Foundation, Michael B. Google Surf, this app, sister, and the municipality of General Lima. Here's the replay of the 8.25. Super deep, but this, this could be the good time to look at 
investment is a fintech and clearance. Yeah, you can see five parties later, deeper than now, than now, deeper, but there, it's just tapering down in a way that a little bit more. Looks like uh, Ether is in a good one, and now we're on a seven. That's Ether for sure, yeah. Competitors, Mountain Dew is giving free merch at their booth just by the entrance of Cloudberry. Just show your ID and get your free stuff. And they will be giving out skateboards and bags and headphones. Uh, yeah. And to um, the guys at Mountain Dew. Starting your Sunday here all year round. <laughs> so this is Sunday, the 16th of October. This is day two of the Yardal uh, International Surfing Cup presented by San Miguel. Uh, we have uh, hit number six right now in the water. We have two more beats after that. Oh, I got some info from the Mountain Dew guys. They're actually making the trophies from, from this event. So it's all recycled plastic during the typhoon. Wow. That's all the scrap wood during um, the typhoon event. Wow, that's amazing. So there's also information that men's run of 16 will be on after this round. So Papa looking a little bit to be also on that one. At the end on that one. Huh? Imagine if he finished all those two bells uh, successfully. He will get a sport of his baby right away. Sure. Six is in the, in the fourth position with a 1 5 and a 1 4. That's the difference between, you know, getting a long barrel and didn't make it and getting a long barrel and then making it out. So it's been a good thing. So, yeah, we have the official uh, information now for today. We're going to close the intermission round of 16, and the uh, women are off for today. Oh, this is uh, Rita Uto. Try to see it in the first position. We got 8.25, the single score. Looks like uh, we're going to make the situation a little bit more difficult for the other server to get that one in. With a seven, and uh, this one could be a could be a, a nice looking score also. Even though you fell off of that one, but the barrel was already bad. Wow, you blew oh. the red SGP. Oh, that view is so good in there. Just gonna stay there forever. And then yeah. you know, get in the head. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're um, looking at the score right now, it looks like blue is homeboying everybody. <laughs> That way was just a bigger set, but uh, it wasn't that deep in the bell. That's the difference between. Oh, oh no, no. Looks like he was super deep. Could be a bell one, yeah. Either deep or hit uh, an air. Maybe, yeah. Oh, a long barrel. Yeah, a long barrel. Here we go. Oh, he was deep. Ooh, oh, 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 Maybe not going to be a perfect score, but could be the score that's really important for his uh, for his score line there, yeah. Because he was deep there. He managed to get uh, travel super long. So he's 
Sol's last wave is a 5.9 definition per second. But yeah, we've got on here, we have a funny hardware also moving into the next one. On your next. So here we go, this is Pata's long bell. Oh, it was long and deep in that one. Even though the, the exit was a bit messy, but uh, you're still going to reward that. Yeah, let's wait for it. There it is, a 7.4. So that pushes me into third place. Yeah. Such a fun record we'll wave too, huh? Yeah. Wow. Such a powerful synthesis too. I saw him do, do uh, a layback and slap his board in half. <laughs> it's so powerful. Do you want one in there? No. Oh, yeah. push up. Yeah. So the situation right now, everybody has probably just played a big body so Ooh, we got a, a better uh, score with a 6.5 in that last wave. And so with a 7, and uh, Papa also with a 7.45. is only looking for a 5 or 5 to take Piso actually and for Piso is looking for a 776 to take first place you know what I yeah. worry with me huh? yeah. I would have almost on the top um, 10 points yeah yeah I'm pretty sure any of those three circles getting in second or four if they have the chance to get one more set they're going to be first, yeah, yeah for they sure. They could change the situation because with any uh, free battle here, you know, you can, you're going to be rewarded with a high score and the situation could change, you know. Sometimes sitting in, you know, second is not safe. True. Especially here if it's the titles from short. Yeah. It's not yeah. it's final yeah. four to five seconds because all the circles could get in the same lineup. In the same yeah. lineup. Oh, and he's back to coming up. We've got 
جا از یک مناطوری قدیم رابرت بادلون هم در رابط ما مالک ما رابط ما رو شکی کرد رابر بادلون مانی ویدل مانی ویدل اخی فرام فرام اونیون فرام اونیون رو دیوان to Dan to San Miguel for um, being the main sponsor of this event. To our to some next gen Visma and DC Sports Foundation, Mountain Dew, Pluto Surf, Recap, Sister, and Jenna Luna and the CTO.
graduate with a 9.25 is moving into first grade. Two minutes left. Priority is Kiso Akala leaving a 7.76 to advance. Eduardo's last wave was a 725. Moved into second place, but after first, after red. 925 that moves him into third place. So interesting. One minute 30 seconds on the top. Wow, look at the wave total. Everyone in the 14 point range. Highest so far today for overall week total for all servers. Nice wave from Red and our team leader. Let's see if he. Better on this 5.6. One minute remaining. So coming up next, we have John Azuki from Japan, Monojo Yahaji from Japan, Robert Leomar Modaluna from Pasangan, and Marnie Rodella from Yuan Union. Here we go. We saw it needs a 7.76. This is his last chance. to draw it. All you need is a 7.76. Okay, we're in heat 7. That's round 32. Two Japanese and two local guys. Thank you. 
Eileen Esquivel from La Union, you know, Benji Morikami on from Cloud9, and uh, Robert Iqbal from Catanduan. So uh, thank you, Mountain Dew, for uh, making our playlist for this event. We recycled plastic bottles, plastic and leftover wood from the recent typhoon event. So we just sent the damage. It's very nice. Thank you, Trophy Queen. Let's recycle plastic and wood. you're still in, make sure you're around because we're going to continue running this men's draw on the 18th on 16th, sorry. So White's first win of 4.75 that puts him into lead. Then it's going to be a green of 1.95. Thank you. 
think I lost them all time. All right. I was just saying, it's like everyone scored 14 points in the ball game. All of the first workers really. Uh, yeah, that last three minutes basically was where it all went down to. I'm heartbroken for the ones who missed out because they think they get that play and they think it happens and then they get that line and there's the next bloke who charges to the road for that line. So it's truly kind of all good. Yeah, it's an amazing head coach for the local boys, especially with four on two story car park. It's really, really shy and kind of late right there, especially when it's a little bit younger. Yeah, absolutely. And it's what it is. It's competition. Both stories on this time. That's what the district's all about. And you can't get over it. Yeah, and it's great, like, for, I mean, it would be for a rematch out there at the moment, for another Super Mega versus another two um, technological team boys. So, I think that it's been quite good, it's been tight, it's really good to see. You can see the dragon slice up here, too. Dragon slice, I was looking at some of those, um, some of those names, and it's like, oh, um, the beach boat style that they have. Um, and the more they travel around here, the boys, they just do it. They're looking really well. Some of them are famous. Yeah, we went to the Ozaki one. Oh man, those boys we had there were so fun. Yeah, and you'll notice a lot of their surface style is that real quick looking mm -hmm. snaps fast transition. Uh, there was only had in that last week or something too, the guys. Stole that I was just so far in 9.25. It was a very crude and spitting, spivey, yeah. everything that goes into a hundred four. I just don't know if I do it in the right one of those. Huge one of those smaller, uh, longer running, I say more mocking styles. Why don't you just sit there and get borrowed and do nothing and come out? I usually get kicked in the head straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Resources and they actually get sponsors to clean the beaches basically. So 
it's sort of building an economy around clean beaches and environmentally responsible companies. It's up for more. It's still going off the road. It's a man who's in his space from the space. He's chosen uh, the Philippines and he's in another country. It's kept my mind at the moment. I can't believe it or something like that. Really. Where generally um, parts of what you have to do could be a problem. Um, and seven seas, obviously, that is where it opens up the way on the IO. And the, the bad problem that we do face is it's a big one, and it's everyone's problem. It's not just the surfers who have to deal with the bad communities, it's the fish that eat the plastic, we eat the fish. Yeah, we've all got plastic. Yeah, we've all heard about the microplastic fish floor in the fish, we've heard about those floating garbage piles out there in the ocean. So, any organisation that is sort of supporting open health, less plastic, less trash in the oceans. Um, just to put it bluntly, it's the thing that we're supporting. Uh, WFL is a huge supporter of that because obviously the water that we the industry of the WFL, and this is what we need. Um, and it's garbage and it's food and we're soaking in plastic bags, glasses, and whatever humans we try to save the ocean. So we can drown the ice for a fee. Yeah, so a big shout out for the initiative that um, WFL have out there with their um, Borrowed their attitude and their sustainable um, projects. So, this sport that is a uh, company and organization for that. So, we see a big shout out to those guys. I'll see them around if you see, if you see their first name, it's done so high. The fire of those guys, especially if you're, you're a company looking to support um, environmental projects, check them out. Seven C's, pretty simple to remember. Uh, and they've got Instagram, they've got all these pages, and that's probably their page. Check them out. So, we still have. That's the 
certainly that you're one of our best if you like this video. You're a hero to do it. If you're a youngster for that time, that's the one you want to call. If you want to watch John C. Wine, take a watch about Taylor Knox. I was, I was, I was in the generation. Well, yeah, that's true. You know who I was really inspired by is is was Taylor Knox. You know, all these cowboys, Sonny Garcia, and then in the new new generation, which was the starting of the new era. It was like before their time, Charles Burroughs. Obviously, then you step in towards the eighty nine generation. It was, it was just stuff that really changed surfing. The quality of surfing we know by this is the lineup was was next level. I've been following the girls surfing like the Wayne Beachley, I said it was and then they said the names like um Stephanie and Bill and Josh Green. So it's really I think a period that happened probably about ten years ago where where surfing just changed. Um, what you could do on a surfboard with a net, what you could do on a skateboard, what you could do on a snowboard and all these sports that have melded together and surfing on a level up is really cool and this is the result of it now. There's a six year old kid that's got a nine star in reverse and one of the second rows. I like so that's that's the same thing and so this game I'm not sure that well boys that we watched the tail game well on tail out or anything like that. Oh thank you for watching Nick Cannon is one of them to watch too. He's a little bit past the my time but
videos and photos that you have to go there once I'm done. Maybe your work on the big trip. I'm sure the fact that the mission is to be investigating for a while. But I just raised them and I went to live in a company and stuff. We figured out through the three long story you guys are watching out there in Capitolanus. Um, hopefully you can be there. Because we do come face to the place and it's not true. Someone told me that the mayor of Capitolanus is here. I'm glad to meet him. Yeah, that is funny. That is a young man. It's just forever. If not came here to visit and check some different ideas from what's happening here, yeah, um, people didn't come to speak to that to the middle. I'm going to go on this too. Big shout out to all the older ones of you who are working in this area. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here Oh, 
already moving at 4.3, and Vero's last wave is at 4.0. It's still it's in one lead. A lot of the on this thing, but it's tough to just go to the other side of the right. He's going to have to start to warm up in order to find the sources of Rio in the middle. Absolutely. There. There's the scouts upstairs. There's nothing. Couples in the middle. Little, little bit caught up on that track. It was a great idea. I think he sort of does that such a little bit late. Maybe he's going through the wrong variation of that. But that's his exercise in the middle. Well, we don't know that we still have to up a little bit. Here we go. Robert's 58 Yeah. Oh. Okay, yeah. so I think it's a little Yeah, I think it's like a big five. Two fifty two. Um, five in the air. It was a little thing for his data. I understand it a few years ago. Um, so we could have correct me, but yeah, there's a big part. But there's a plan for the big two or something like that. Yeah. And it's basically just where we go from air into float up. Little, I don't know, it never really took a lot. Just, I don't know, I don't remember, and that was just a little step over there from Robert Kimball. Did you always do a, like, a thin design, like, in the tail of the airplane or something before that? I'm just going to do a bit of stuff on myself. So, I'm going to get carried away with it. There you go. See that little car on the roof? I can scare it with you. It was going to be a big thing to do or something like that. And it was basically done a little bit more to do by the guys in the car. You can see this is that sort of restoration. The surf is getting to where they know there's five minutes, and every time another surf gets a, a wave, the requirement gets a little bit trickier. Uh, 431 is not an easy number. Everyone out there is sort of around that range. So the top scores, they are looking to try to get the first hold of the heat. You know, I'm using the rest of the heat. This is a good looking wave. I'm saying one of the advantages that JR has, has a lot of these guys out there, on his home base, he can literally surf. A race break and a race break in the same session. In the same session, you can do 10 minutes on our point break and end up on a beach break to finish the way we go. So good. It is really just one of those unique sort of breaks down out there. It's pretty unique. You can do point break style race break and you can do race break style beach break. And fun sandbars there. Yeah, I remember. I was supposed to do the 2019. It was two days for that. It was two days. That's what they were going to do. Four foot summon stuff, four of the general orders going on. And I was caught out in the rips and currents. I was afraid of getting ripped around the point where I was going to end up. And I was like, glass. Maybe a game not to make it to the first time. It's a bit of danger when you get into those scores and you're just trying to get what you need to get off. But if you're going to be a man, I would have been one of those beautiful, like, critical, you know, like, critical battles. I think it's going to be one of those kind of things that I'm going to have to put in. With two minutes to go. Yeah, I think it's going to be one of those kind of things that I'm going to have to put in. Oh, yeah, James, there's some of the other main sponsors there. Next Gen 2, Vizsla and Beach Sports Foundation, Mountain Dew. We will serve with that sister and the Mystic Pion Management that I'm doing. Thank you guys for making this event happen. So after round of 32, we're going straight to round of 16. Was the first race time by. Oh, there you go. Ryuki. Ryuki's got it. 4.75 on his last race. Because he's in second place. He's been Robert down the line, but Robert is actually in priority now, so he's going to have to keep that cool head on his shoulders. He's been having a little bit of a discussion with JR out there saying, I'm not talking about what he needs to do. Nice to go in it, so yeah, and looks like they're confirming what the situation out there is to 
for Robert, sometimes it's quite hard to do the beach announcements, especially being the second language for a lot of these guys. And I've always been on the pin paint, something to do with air like knives. There we go, let's see if he's going to use this priority light screen for the Turkish banner. And I think Benjamin might be looking for the second point of light screen. It's a fun move to talk about. Um, we got a positive body language sign from the judges there. I don't know if it's a touch point. I don't know if it's a touch I think that was more of a next to most of my life. I had a bit of fun. That just went on the judges. Yeah, it was a barrel. Nice barrel in the right turn. Yeah, it was on a small wave. Uh, um, like I said, leading to the judges. We were just watching stuff. It's not been standing down now. I'll tell you, I'll take the last one. Uh, oh, that's oh, yeah. I don't even know what that's called. That's the top of it. That's a, a nice little... You got to the way to the camera. I do. Is that a part of it? I'm going to ask him to kill a lot of people. So I'm going to shout out to Andre, Daniel Wild. Um, Artist from Wild. Uh, this is the boys down at um, Harana. Uh, Andre from Wild. Yeah, Andre from Wild. 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 Uh, big shout out, we love our lunch. I think you're on a tuna. And it is on the tuna. Uh, that was pretty good. Three Japanese as well. I did hear last night that they caught ourselves a huge, fresh thing. Tuna. Yeah, we're going to see if we can get some tuna from the can. Let's 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 Line, uh, a little bit of excitement in the news for the guys up there in Pepperonis. But the team were doing enough on that last last wave that uh, Barrel was enough to get his 3.9 in the beyond. I think he got 4.2 or something like that. So it's super exciting news for uh, the people and, and the team up there in Pepperonis. I'm sure they're losing their mind. Just got a big shout out to you guys up there. I'm uh, still going through. And we'll be up later. Oh my gosh. That was, that was constantly that's hanging into the stars. I'd love to get a replay on that one to see you now pop and hype the bell on that. Uh, that much come up with his life. Uh, he did a flight field, he had a nice little stay there. 
a little bit of a with himself. He wanted a bit of a small way, but he definitely wasn't going to like that. I bumped him just to get down, but he got to get close to him. So, uh, uh, we played towards him. Um, I mean, the now, this is, this is, the amount of pop and high and that's getting a little caught up on the landing and coming down, um, a little bit open on the top, and just sort of just you had to make another up to the massive story, you can see the there, that on the top, a good chance to get that sort of high, that again, that's the board. Put a crease through it and you can bump with the board. It means it loses all of its sort of flexible um, characteristics and it becomes possibly unresponsive, especially at this level. I mean, it's bad. I mean, I'll be bad off when I start to do it. I'm just going to back that score. I'm going to go 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 Nice and critical in those questions. A little bit late to the party. What did they miss, Joe? What did you miss, Luke? Stopping out every two minutes, what have you seen? I want to talk to you. Can we flip over and get from these names here? I want to give these guys a bit of information. They're out there. I can see they're still marked at home. They're bossing. They're out there. They're still marked. Okay, okay. So you see that P out of the crowd? If I use the P out of the crowd. Okay. And she can me and Bronson Mighty. Yeah, and Bronson is where that's been found. I'm making the from my side. Um, the living way of the Yeah, quite some time. One of my favorite things was the most renowned I'm not 
things I've been hard to be quick to. I'm not going to wait to. I'm going to go away and go to school at the end of the day. Or I'll be back in the day. I'm going to go to school at the end of the day. I'm going to go to school at the end of the day. I'm going to go to school at the end of the day. I'm going to go to school at the end of the day. I'm going to go to school at the end of the day. Yeah, a few extra milliseconds there, I'm sorry, we're just back in the area of um, But looking at that score, but it's not so you just keep what it comes to. Place that weight low, I don't think anyone knows this weight, but it's just good, right? Yeah, sure. I think it's really important to play. Yeah, it's just, just the pace that he has in there. He knows where he's looking to tell you where he's going to be the place. Um, but so, how did you go to the half a half a split second earlier? I'm sorry, we're just going to hear it. I don't know how much time that takes off his life for the hair flip. He's got to do a little bit of head hair like that. I'm still waiting for four kilos. Most of my must wait for So it'll be interesting to see that, guys. It didn't take long for that to drop in. The guy was up to rule. I'll be in that. Oh, a second place by head. Yep. So, like I said, there are lots of combos. There are a lot of barrels here at the time, but you can get it. Combo like that it wasn't a massive finish, but the fact that he got out and got his hand on that left as well shows that he's working pretty well with it. So, I don't know. He rewarded quite well as we're back in the way of putting um, putting Vincent Young you know, back into his second place to Andrew Dawson. And Filmar, Filmar only with a 4.0, and I love this tour. So, I'm fresh for the way he's going to start. He's already got his device looking for those, but he's good. Right. Right. ก็ยิ่งเพียงยิ่งยิ่งมีความยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่งยิ่
to four here on Surfer and White. Only four oh, leads to nine point one now. Big score. Definitely doable for this young Indonesian surfer. It does big airs, big hats, and big barrels. Mm. It's okay. <laughs> Um, a big but this is this is getting hot with 11 minutes. Still, still, that's an idea there. Please, guys, that's a good call. Maybe put 30 minutes on it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> 30 minutes. Let's put the rise and slow down a little bit. Not much chance for everyone. Mm. Have to call that there by the call the director to have another five minutes to stay. Next on to B. Yes, I could be very person. The forever spokesperson of the Anointed by Jerry David himself. Um, just <laughs> what in the Philippines may not be wearing it without, without the work of Jerry David for sure. So, if you share that, like, we might get in. Maybe a bit of bit of teasing might be to hear about the Jerry Lee. This is a very low risk area here in Austin. Oh, okay, so what happened there? Wasn't bad, huh? Priority, Thompson? Seven. If you're, um, nine by the moment, you're not very comfortable. Yeah. Um, that's the security of being in first place is like a little uh, safety blanket. If you know you're facing the weather pool down two places before you get on the field, you're there some levels. So that's an opening exchange of which was three ways. Especially with um, Surfer and Blue having the last priority. Yeah, absolutely. Basically, we couldn't control anything. Just watch the other surface catch waves and hope we don't get the score. Yeah, there's, there's parts of the surfing you can control, there's other parts that you can't control. Uh, you can try to force people, you can try to tempt people to, to lose their priority by sort of having to wave and threatening for the image under priority situation. But those guys out there, as you see, your eyes are just sitting on the horizon and not on control. So after this, we have you too. We have Yushi Yushi from Japan, Ian Martin from Sweden, Varun Panjong from Indonesia, and then Gayward Osiso, local boy from Patanan. Nine minutes on the top. Still a lot of time zone. A new one's on the top. We've been like, uh, I think we've been all the way in most guys on the top. I didn't say it's all. It's strange to see how the white. Um, why is everyone in the Asian tourism family number one? Um, so he is his mum from what is it? Yeah, I think, yeah. And his dad's actually Brazilian. Oh, oh, oh. He's been literally born and raised there in Indonesia. Oh, so he's one of those expat, um, other products of the expat mm. life. Um, there's a lot of expats in Korea. Yeah. yeah, and it sort of shows, um, how long the expats have been in there in Indonesia. Although they've got kids as old as, uh, Korea now. Taking the air and being part of the culture. And it's just cool. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's beautiful that the world is actually just treating. Yeah, I mean, it's hard on this. It's so much fun. Yeah, and then look at um, Doug Nala, who's sort of down there, and his mother has lost a few heaps. Um, the American dad, the poor family mum, and they're just kind of a part of this community. And that thing now is he's 18 years old, so he grew up, born and raised, he's just American by passport. But, I mean, he is 99% Filipino. He's 1%. <laughs> Just because he lives here all his life, he speaks the dialect. Was he born here? Yeah, he was born, born here. Yeah, yeah, he's easy. He's, 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 he's mom from this problem. His mom from here. I'm not sure if he's from this province, but he's there. I think he's living in Haida. Um, he's there, okay, Germany. So, I don't know if I'm surprised. I think that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I was talking to him about him earlier. Property for sale, Doug. Maybe you go on and make it sound get 5% down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
welcome back. Certainly. Yes, welcome back. John, uh, what an amazing week uh, we have there before. We have Philmar and also local boy uh, Marmar making it through to the uh, next round, which is a uh, final, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, you're, you're right there. And it's been, it's been one of those hard runs for Marmar. He hasn't been going through the victory of the victory. Um, yeah. He's been running through uh, with the second place. He's been running through 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 the second place. I know you, you, you also saw that one, one of your, your boys. Yeah. Everybody likes this, I think, really good. Yeah. We're going to listen to you, you know, hoping to ride for, um, uh, is that our sister? I think that's probably what I'll say, so. Yeah, so, um, oh, we're going to have a little round. Oh, oh. Pretty cool, little round. Oh, 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 how's that one? That's one of our engineers, too, just, uh, straight from, uh, get the, oh, it's nice, yeah, I mean, just about in under that leaf, and I know the judges are going to, Take note of that because that was that was yeah. one of those critical entries to a battle to put on. It could be uh, one of those uh, excellent score uh, race. As we see today, also there's a couple excellent score already. Uh, in, uh, oh, here we go. Oh, look at that one. Super critical. Uh, what's that pot in the of that? So fun. And it was deep. And it was deep. And it was also like under the legs of the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was tangled up and everything was going on for him. So yeah, look, look at that. Right. He's really pushing where Faro is. You know, as uh, when the speaker started, look at him. Look at him. He's got a nice, but no one really did him that thing. That was a nice guy. He knows it. He knows that's going to be his And then a nice rap. Oh, yeah. What do you want to see him sort of? He was 54 times. And then that's the spirit of my life. There's a bubble pain. Okay. Come on, come on, from Bell. Pain. Couple turns, pain. So, uh, are we playing double points? Could be uh, <laughs> affecting the way <laughs> judges see it. But you know, these days the judges are really, really, uh, you know, they, they see all the details of the of how they're surfing. You know, they they can see like the reaction and emotion of the surfers, but still, the judges are only scoring uh, what they do on the wave. I think they do that hard. Us, us, the bush team is really, really watching the news. Yeah, it's so scary to get into the plane. Well, I'm, I'm a good player. Look at that thing. Right. Here we go. Look, Look at that. that. There's a 9 to 5. So, Eugene Nishi, if you know, he currently is sitting at number 6 on the ranking in the, on, the, uh, on the Asian QS. So, he is really looking to, uh, uh, you know, getting uh, more points on this event because every point right now is a super crucial, especially when he's surfing with Bjorn Martin. And also, Baron Tanjo, they're all on the top six right now. Yeah. Yeah. is number one, Baron is number four or five, and Eugene is here number six. So, yeah. this is a space of critical points when you look at the big picture of, of the agents. So, we're going to towards that um, next level, which is the channel. Uh, sorry, not the champion to talk about this. Yeah. This is, um, this is where all hopes and dreams are playing in lines, you know, like, uh, they've been traveling, they've been working hard at home, they've been, uh, They've been uh, putting a lot of effort just to, you know, to collect all those points. Well, it's not just hopes and dreams, finances, work, sweat and fears, you know, um, just a little bit. It's like that, that little hanging up at the start, just look at that, just, you know. Any other, any other days, any other surface might just get quick and just wipe out and get, you know, uh, hurt in there. But when you do Nishi, just because you worry about that, absolutely. He, he get he get around that one. Another another standard where you would see that one unfold is when you start to get to the point under that head, you sort of put it a little bit high and you understand the sort of open fall. So the way that he just said dusty, he done exactly what he needed to do to get cool and composed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sort, of sort of wide that one. So talking about ranking these days on the Asian uh, ranking to well, so you have John Martin in first position. Second is Rio Wider. Rio pretty much will not surf in the rest of the US Asia anymore because he will be busy finishing his calendar tour in 2022. And uh, as we know, Rio, he also already qualified for the CT next year. So he will, he will stay focused, you know, stay injury free. That's the most important thing as an athlete that already, you know, making it into the, you know, like into the big league. And then uh, on the third position, we have Ani Anwar. Only actually, I'm still an event. So uh, the, the the most important is actually this one. Real key is by uh, he just got knocked out in the last week, and uh, Varun and Yuji and Pian are all in the same heat, and this could change. I'm not sure if Pian can be replaced uh, 
by Yuji. Even Yuji won this event with a thousand points. Yuan will, will stay uh, ahead of him uh, after this event. Yeah, he has yeah. got a successful series of the interview with Yuji. Yeah, that's a couple of podcasts. Yeah, well, I thought he was really good. Yeah, he didn't do this, and that was too bad. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah, he did. He finished the uh, uh, semi-final and also quarter-final, I think, in uh, those Awesome. Yeah, he, he made it to the final in the junior event. Yeah. So, uh, so that's a really solid uh, numbers to keep. So just to let you know, uh, John, anyone who wins this event, except Tian, will not change the situation. Tian is pretty solid in the first uh, first uh, position right now uh, after the Cloud9 event. Because Tian has collected 3,800 points, and the closest surface that can be placed Tian is actually a real rider and he's not here. Yeah, so yeah. if Arnie win it, he's going to get 3,700 and that's not going to replace Tian's 3,800. Yeah. So that's the calculation for Tian. I know David in Bali is a stressing working son right now. Yeah, I, yeah. I know we would have loved to be here that we yeah. the financial. And, and what you do in the last bit of the year is it's amazing to work with that. Yeah. Tian is a big part of the story in Tian. Um, a lot of dads. Pushing the kids, not pushing, but support. Yeah, it's a better word. And yeah, and looking at that bigger picture, so it makes for the for the feedback and letting them know where the standings are with the supporters. Because there's a bigger picture. This we're looking at at one event, but this is a part of a very big picture. That's some nice. Yeah, I think he's going to town at the party. He's feeling good. Yeah. So that's new dimension. Um, yeah, and then I said like the, the bigger picture is actually the four. This is this is a great event as a part of the big contest going on. Oh, so still out. At the end of the day, the day like you know, the bigger dream is always to try to qualify for the the world tour. And uh, to get to the world tour, I think the WSL making it making the path uh, a bit easier now because regional series is is the is the I would say the most fair thing to to have in our region. Because back in the days. If there is a, a, a big US event in the South Africa, you have to fly there. And as the food is not familiar, the place is not familiar, the water is not familiar, the car park is is not familiar place, you know. So to be to be in those situations, it takes a lot of adjustment. Exactly. Yeah. And even something as small as certainly Wexford, where someone from South Africa or Australia might think it's not a big deal, but someone from Indonesia or the Philippines, if you've never been in a Wexford, you know why. It's, it's a massive adjustment. You have to paddle harder, you have to yeah. um, adjust the surfing, there's a little bit of a delay in your muscle switches and everything like that. It's, it's a huge disadvantage for food, everything. Yeah. Travel even. To travel across to South Africa, you've got the day is night, night is day. But uh, you know, John, like, there's, there's a lot of times that we hear that it's, it's, it's a lot of times it's disadvantage for us, but we also have to see it the other way. You think people, when they surf every single day on a website, come to the topics, it's also a disadvantage for them. But that's when guys from Santa Cruz come to Bali and they still have surfing with their booties, yeah. even though it's like melting uh, hot tropics. But for them, like, they, they're not surfing without a booty, so <laughs> <laughs> they can't really get the, you know, the other way of a disadvantage uh, uh, for, for the other part of the world. Yeah, and that's the way it is that point back. People are comfortable with what they're comfortable with. Um, yeah. And then where you're going with that regional, it, it's sort of like the playing field for Asia, because apart from Japan, most of where we're going to serve is more and more to serve. Yeah. Um, it's like, come on, and I'm going to believe in the right down the track. I think it's good to maybe get both of them here. Yeah. Malamar and Philmar, you know? They, they both like kind of like the same kind of guys that grow together, they travel together before, and you know, my and I always get the, you know, a bit of a, you know, I don't know what you call that, uh, you get the star, you get the, yeah, you get the spotlight a little bit. Yeah. 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 I was the first to the so he has some that So, uh, I have to say, like, you know, my and was there, but now it looks like uh, after this week, film, I want to come back. Yeah, yeah, so you're going to say these guys. I don't have one, I think, I think yeah, one of you is sort of... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think, Sidney, you're going to be the best one to go out this conversation. You know these guys, but for a long time. 
Um, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know if we can just do that, I don't know no, and that's, and that's, that's the joy of a spirit, a spirit written on it. When you're out there having a needle like this, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. So let's call on Marma and Phil, if you guys can come here. Let's get, uh, you guys are not surfing events today, so let's talk all day. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you can hear that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here with the two twins here, Thelma and Mama. They, they're so happy to, to get, uh, uh, you know, like after that piece. Tell me a little bit, you guys are having like a super high score piece. What's what's going on in your mind? That was a crazy look, you know. Yeah. With Mama and Gonzalo and Yeah. Yeah, because... You know, I have, I have to say, Marma looks comfortable. You know, like he's sitting first and second. And after you get that like, eight point, uh, feel more things change, yeah. And I think yeah. Marma got a little bit of nervous, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And eight, uh, eight seven five actually, yeah. Eight five seven. Yeah. I know. He was having priority, and there's nothing you can do about it. And he gets the way, and all of you looking to him now. I saw you guys that like that uh, trying to do the anyway, and then what's in your mind? Oh, oh God, yeah. It's yeah. It's good to see it's still always, you know, like a local heroes making it into the next round. Especially, you know, if you guys are the same heat and the both of you making it into the next round. You want to say something to friends and family, like a, I don't know, sponsor? You, you guys are just, you sponsor? Yeah, yeah, we just get, you know, sponsored by a couple of us. Yeah. It's a game of mine, you know, what we do. Yeah. One second, I want to check who do you guys have on the next year. I don't even know you know, maybe. Yeah. Do you guys know? Okay, let's check it. Uh, okay, here we go. You guys will surf against so men and men, both of you. Yeah. You guys are too early to be a man and man. So you guys gonna surf against no, you guys gonna surf against who can beat quarterfinal one, quarterfinal number two. So you guys are for now you guys are separated. If you guys win, you're gonna make each meet each other on the semi final. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. Hey, uh, well, surfing guys, yeah, really uh, good to see, um, you know, local local viewers coming to uh, the next round. Myanmar and Philmar showing, you know, backside surfing and frontside surfing is no disadvantage of a uh, blood man. You know why? Yeah. It's so perfect, yeah. It is great. Yeah. 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 Next time I need to follow where, wherever you follow, yeah? <laughs> I know, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So for both, yeah, so for both, both of you, are you guys looking for a bigger day, or you, is, this, is this good enough for you guys? Oh, we hope it's still good, but it's great. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's still going to stay the same. Okay. 
Okay, yeah, it's good enough, yeah. I know. It's not like a. It's not, it's not on store and uh, closing out. Yeah, yeah, it's not on store and yes, I don't need to Okay. Okay. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Well done. Yeah, it was uh, good, to, good to bring that, uh, bring that uh, into the, you know, into the microphone and to hear what's going on in their mind. Yeah, you know, like, uh, I don't know, Myanmar is always, you know, the, the smiley, you know, uh, person, but you know, when he's under pressure there a little bit, he, he, he want to get out of that pressure with, you know, with a big smile. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, and, and that is his setting it. Um, he, his personality is he's one of his moms. Yeah. But don't be confused, though, he's still, he's still he's behind that smile. Yeah. He's, he's obviously, let's go to where he is today, the personality is behind it, and it's also good to see that vibe, I think, for Yeah. Um, there's no one's ever questioned the, the certain ability of Thelma. Yeah. Um, I think that taste of competition, he'd, he'd go out there that that was the one's like, yeah, I'm a little bit and when he gets through that, that's just going to be his beast. Yeah, for sure. And, and he went through with the win, like I said, so he's going to go into the next uh, quarterfinal man on man. Yeah. With all the confidence in the world. Yeah. And then uh, hopefully that's going to be tomorrow. And then also, uh, you know, during the interview, we have, uh, let's see, uh, Kian's way here first. Kian's, ooh, Kian's currently sitting in third position, last way from uh, Alciso, pushing him into third position, but he's only looking for a small score. So Kian is a, a really smart surfer, you know. He he might, you know, on, and on the heat, he will not go beyond what he needs. You know what I mean? So, and that's what he said. That's yeah. the natural competitor. A lot of people think you need change every way. You know? He just needs to beat the other two guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he just uh, changed the situation. Because every heat, when he surfed, he just surfed it just for him to, to progress. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and, 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 and I like what you're doing now because it's not the point of winning the games, it's the point of winning. Yeah. And not even winning, it's just progressive. That's true. That's true. All you have to do is enough to get through, and yeah. we're enough to get through. Yeah. And, and I know now he's in this position, he's going to he's gonna look at building yeah. and increasing. He doesn't want to be always chasing, so yeah. he's going to try to throw away that, yeah, at 5-5 five, five and, and step up on his next wave. He has smart choices because at this moment it's not about getting first position because first position is a, is a tough number to get for him is maintaining maintaining a second position you know like build, keep building those numbers and then maybe get closer to, to the first spot you yeah. know putting, probably like putting pressure to uh, to our CISO and also Varun there because uh, Varun is, is also chasing couple score our CISO is also uh, chasing couple score Kian is looking comfortable there with the uh, second spot but if he's Super smart, he will put pressure on those two surfers and kind of let Yuji surf by himself. You know, like there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no point in trying to make it but he is just, he, he, he is hot. Yeah. And yeah. he's probably looks like he wanted to make it for a little bit. Yeah. Um, and he was the guys. He takes his, uh, his heat in the first 15 minutes. And yeah. this is the 30 minute heat, and you're already like, Oh, no, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was like, he was done. And I think he's five, three, five, 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 five,
if I was him, I'm just going to step away from these three guys, trying to build up on my own, you know, uh, territory. Look at that, this guy with under uh, yeah, the story there, I'm not on this part of the story, he's, yeah, he's so long. Uh, I was one of the youngest kids, he's also, he's not the age, I think he's 16 or 17. Yeah, he's cut that better, huh? he's cut that yeah. younger brother. Um, so I was very excited. So these other guys are doing the chasing, and we have Jay Woodard there. He's actually just, this is probably the, he's only going to be a show event, possibly, mm. uh, depending on what happens for the rest of the year's schedule. Yeah. Uh, but what an experience for this, this young kid to be able to get some of the best on the edge of the world. For sure. Like this, uh, this three guys are in the, in the top six of the you know, Asian region. So he did what Swallow needs to do, you know, what, <laughs> what Jared, Jared, Jared uh, our sister is doing is what Sardo needs to do. Because sitting there outside with those two guys that you know, have a commanding lead is not going to help him or anything. Even though I know Sardo <coughs> might you know, step into that second uh, priority, worst to worst, what can happen is Luigi is going to go and Sardo is going to get the second uh, biggest set. But you still need to get another score. So before that happens, you know, rather than doing this waiting game for the big set, Stay away from those two guys. Just find your own lineup. You know. Yeah, and his requirement is it is it is a bit less than he's got one point three, so he needs to get yeah his building blocks to start putting the heat together. You know, even if you got a six or a five five, that means it's like you know on on uh, the on the weekend, yeah, on the hunting ground again. Because right now it's a bit of a out of the picture right now, but uh, <laughs> I'm not really sure. You know what he uh, needs to do, and uh, hopefully he can get that uh, score that he's looking for, and we're gonna see a, um, you know, like a, a bit of more of a interesting beat again, like the, the last beat that was like super intense, a lot of action, a lot of uh, you know seesaw, yeah. and that's what we want to see on every single beat actually. And this DJ would be able to basically go and check for anybody, yeah, uh, waiting for those wide ones because his requirement also is not how to reach for him a five. Yeah, the reverse might have almost got him there on that last time we were in a close number and it wasn't a bad rotation. Yeah. But it wasn't, it wasn't a big play there, but yeah, like I said, just getting just a little bit away from everybody right there in the tree. So what would be um, something that I'd do also. Yeah. Oh, nice afternoon. A bit of cloud cover out there for the guys. Totally, totally on shore. I'm sure we'll just sort of toss on story out there. Still plenty of battles, though. Like we've seen our last um, class, I think. It's a little bit slow, A 9 to 5 from Yuji Nishi. Yeah, Yuji is a, is a family of a three, I think. There's three brothers of the Nishi. There's a couple of Nishi out there. Uh, uh, one of them is a Goofy Twitter, Yuji Nishi, Yuji Nishi. And uh, uh, the other one, I kind of forgot his name. So here we go. It looks like Farone is going on this one. This is the one that he's waiting for. First maneuver is a setup turn, right? Uh, I think Farone was waiting too long for that uh, second wave. It's it's been like 25 minutes. It's interesting to see what they have sort of build up. I mean, you can see how it does affect him. You know, he's going to make that turn 99 times out of 100 when it's 25 minutes on the clock. You know what happened with pressure? They, they pull you down, you know, like mentally and. You know, like you're, you're confident. It just, it's, it just takes a lot of experience to get around that, you know, factor and making it into like an environment. You know, it's, it takes years and years of, uh, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 And then we talked about that um, before about yeah. there's got the equipment. Still, of course, just how I like the fine pieces of scientific sort of hydro, um, kind of painting. I mean, they've been designed. Things we can do with these guys to get the best out of them. Um, people's bodies are getting homes. Um, they now realize that their, their body is actually a piece of their equipment. And the third part of it is obviously their mental state. Yeah. Um, and that's probably the most important part of, of this game. You can put together a, a good hit strategy and not be the best out and still come through with a victory. For sure, as long as you can keep that mental and here we go, this is Austin, so trying again, and super big. Might have jumped a little bit too much. Yeah, if he could have like maintained three strong maneuver on that wave, if you look at that wave, he's still going, it could be the score that he's looking for. That's what's so smart about Kian. He's kind of like positioning himself, looking at the situation, looking at the water, 
you know, looking at Baro uh, and Alcee, so making sure that they're not in the position that can, you know, get the score that they need, and, you know, just kind of let Alcee uh, go because we know Alcee so will throw something big. And uh, look at this one. Who has priority? Eugene needs your priority. They, they let it go to Baro. Could be the, the highest score of Baro's wave this one, and then we can come back with two minutes to go. We need to do that one more. One more turn there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not what yeah. 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 it's playing, but yeah, yeah. You can see that it's yeah. almost done. Turn with this set coming behind. This is what the boys are back away for. Usually, I have a priority. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Ooh. Ooh. I think I'm going to have a second one. Yeah, so he's based on. So, yeah, I'm going to have a second one. Looking at the score since as far as I run the way, the boys are taking the board there to make sure nothing changed on the priority stands. So, Baron's wave could stay around 3 to 4 uh, 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 range, and then from there, he's going to look for another 6 point if I'm not wrong, and that's when Farron's going to realize everything is actually achievable. So, I'm just going to look at the, the little cut of Baron going in above that. It's a very important very priority at this stage. Yeah. Let's wait for Farron's last wave. It is going to, just like I said before, it's a 4.95. Now he's looking for a 610. And his mind is telling him, you need one more. But sitting on the fourth priority, now he's on the mercy of this three other guys. That's the way that's the top. Um, Gary was pulled up early there. He's looking at that wide one that I just can't touch. And he might still have this one. Yeah. And I don't know if he's going to have to send it to the area again at this stage. Because if he's on a small wave, he's going to have to do something pretty impressive. Yeah. Oh, he's trying to get in the battle, looking good, it, coming out, with a foggy door, and he's just kicked on it. On the tail, now it does a fight for the battle on that small one. So he's not over there. That's an exit. Yeah, that's a bit of a, you know, like a really messy exit. The exit is really uh, kind of messy. Yeah, it's, it, was, it was a battle by all means, um, but I'm sure I'm I don't think, in my opinion, that that's going to be the fight for the battle that he's going to need. Maybe around the it's going to have some four points. Yeah. Okay, there's a couple of steps coming, uh, rolling on this one. If Kian or, uh, or Yuji is not going on this one, it looks like Varun is on the better uh, spot. Uh, I think Yuji is going to block him. Yeah, so it's going to have to go this way. He knows there's not much in that one, but there's five seconds. He knows Kian's got second priority. Yeah. He's made a pretty wise decision there to, to do his victory lap. But if you think about it, you know, look at Yuji so comfortable on his feet. That way for, for, for other surfers could be a three, but he just throw like a five there. Exactly. You know, it's all about the confidence and smashing those guys. And that was a one. So you got here the work on it. I think it's like a little break. Yeah. I'm about to this. Have you ever met Miss Lindy? She's a gal with a bright red hair. Now she stands high from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where well, she's mine. Yeah, she's mine.
second to the last few for today. We have Akuto Ota, Japan, Yamaguchi from Japan. We're preparing our one from Bali and Robert from Bali from the Philippines. Wow. Good evening, right here. Uh, uh, Luke from Jurajiki from Japan. Yeah. 7.00. That wave was uh, super open. Nice roundhouse cut back to finish it up. So stylish. Yeah, and Jurajiki is a bit like a well known uh, kid from Japan. Here we go. Oh, who's that? Oh, who's that? Oh, and that was the only way, on his way out and just caught a clip on that one. Which uh, is. Uh, on his way to get a good score on that one, and uh, he got the help. <laughs> so, um, it's interesting to see Robert Tumba out here still going strong, yeah, uh, look, because of every beat he just, like, you know, kind of like slides through, you know, and getting stuck in, and uh, now he's in this pop, uh, the round of his 16. Yeah, it's just one thing, and a while back when he was heading out, I was just asking what you're getting from him. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes the best plan is no plan, you know, because if you have so much plan, you know, you think, you know, that plan is uh, that kind of another plan, this plan makes you have that kind of plan, so too much plan is going to confuse you. Yes, you guys, everybody, any coaching, this is the first level you're starting that first time to serve with um, really, really good servers, you know, you can get it done, that's the reason. Joe has used to get that salmon. That's it was showing that that way, you know, was hollow. So seven point zero for opening right to Joe. Thanks to San Miguel for our main sponsors for this event. To Next Gen Visla and BP Sports Foundation. I'm going to do a little bit of a test and I'm going to see if you're going to see if you're going to see if you're going to 25 minutes uh, to go. This is a 30 minute heat. Around 16. The reason is because the contest director think that they have to uh, put a little bit more time to accommodate you know, the, all the surfers to be able to catch as much of our potential. Here we go. This is Takuto Ota. Strong body turn. Super strong body turn there. Huh? Like really like 12 o'clock on that one. Just talking about 12 o'clock is 1 o'clock, so he <laughs> passed his lifetime. Right? <laughs> so uh, two Japanese surfer. Super strong, put your ammo on, trying to get that back on this one. Which is also known for, you know, for his aerial uh, uh, maneuvers. And we need to, he's one year before, and uh, we need to get back as soon as possible with four wide to regain priority. This is maybe bottom turn smash, super strong. Only one strong turn, but uh, We'll see what the judge is going to give that one. That was a proper, proper. I think it's a four. Could be a four. Four or five. Because before he was sitting, that was a four. It's a four, yeah. Four roll. You got a seven. You got it. You should be a judge. <laughs> Sorry, a big shout out to all the judges, to all the officials. We have, um, here we go. Takuto Ota again on that barrel. Ooh, still going. Oh, that was close. Yeah. He's actually on the way out, but that foam ball is something that, uh, a little bit, you know, more turbulence than you thought. And, uh, slows it down. Right? Yeah, because, you know, water, when they, when the water, you know, trying to make friends with you, you are in the sweet spot. But if, if the water is having a different thought, that means you're in the wrong spot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, he's still in the right spot, right there, he's in the wrong spot. It's all about timing, position, and speed. Uh, Robert Kimball always makes you sure he gets so busy, he's been doing 
guess you have that. Actually, he's got a five for that one. Uh, uh, he's got a five to five to five. And that one big uh, hack. Oh, so you're going to it. Yeah. Super. A reward, I think. Thanks to everybody in Japan, the family of uh, Joe and also Takuto is uh, watching online right now at home. Should we say Tony Chua? Here we go, Robert T. Bob. Oh! Just make it count. That's actually a really smart move. He doesn't try to you know, do anything that way. Joe Azuchi. Oh! That's something about Cloud9. There's not much bottom. Everything is just square. You know, like, yeah, when you're trying to do like a big roundhouse cut, then if, you try, if your board is not facing the right position, you know, sometimes the, the, speed, the opposite speed of your board is just going to push you away. It's, that's because it's hollow, yeah. Yeah, it's really, really hollow. Really hollow and shallow. What's the plan for the rest of the day to after this? Just <laughs> enjoy the island, hang out with the family. Might get some fish or, or something, swim, and then, uh, uh, yeah, just do it and stuff. Again, going back to where he uh, left his wallet <laughs> under the water. <laughs> and here we go, Robert Timo on his, uh, I would say, uh, best life so far. We need to uh, get around that one. So, Robert pulling in, came out, one round house cut back. Looks like he's back into the game. This is the uh, Puta Emma one, super strong. Uh, uh, you know, it's just six feet right there. The height is not there, but you know, the rotation, the speed, everything is there. Yeah. <laughs> very, very technical. Yeah. So, uh, Robert Tingle got pushed again into third, uh, to fourth now, which uh, is third. We have our last week for the day. We have Grammar, Magalona, Oni, Anwar, Jira, Esquivel, and Rinta Otto in Japan. So, last week for the day, we have Sir Green Blue in first, Sir Green White in second, Sir Green Red in third place, medium of 5.36, and Sir Green Green, medium of 5.90. So the last three was 
Which are again, oh, unable to control that thing. Which are is looking for 563 now. 566. So if you want to have quite your final, it's a one and one. First team, we have Phil Radicoy and Ken Martin. And second team, we have John Mark Lafong and Eugene Nishti. Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go, Robert Simpson. Still waiting for a couple of updates and uh, information right now. We have uh, in this league Joe Azuchi, Takuta, Takuto Osa. We have also Surfer from Indonesia, Putra Hamon, and local surfer from India, from uh, from uh, Philippines, Robert Timbal. Here's our snap tip. Thank you, Shaka. Oh, thank you very much. Amazing uh, smoothies and bowl there. Thanks to the Shaka boys. There you go, that's the right side of Cloud 9. That's where the big cross is. Just a hook up. Heading to Guadalajara. The famous uh, left hander. So we have half way to go. We're going to be in uh, Putra Hemo and still chasing scores. The two Japanese are looking pretty solid in their first and second with 11.75 and also It looks like the Cali of Arnie with Earth Island speaker there. This is next to is JR, Oni, Robert, and uh, Rinta Uto. Just a little bit over 30 minutes and 30 seconds to go. 13 minutes and 30 seconds to go. Blue first, also holding priority. Joe Azuchi. He was, uh, I was remembering him as a you know, young junior trying to chase like uh, junior skills around the, the globe. And now, uh, I'm not wrong, he was representing, representing Japan for the world junior in Taiwan. Wow. And now he's uh, stepping it up, trying to chase Challenger uh, in our goal, getting some points on uh, QS Asia. So the Kimbo has priority above uh, Kutra Hermawan and he maximized that situation. 
It's also midday here in Shiaigao, uh, Thailand. Lunch time for a lot of, uh, of the locals here. Midday means like the sun is straight, straight away on top of our heads. Usually it's a sleepy situation and we still see some action from Robert Kimball. He's actually pretty deep there. Nice strong turn there. The roundhouse cut back and kick out. And push your arm on. Also getting his own. Let's see the situation. <laughs> Green is waiting for score. Red is waiting for score. Ah, here we go. 5 1 0. Also, this is exactly the same as his first previous wave. He's actually still looking for that 5 9. So he didn't get the score. He did get uh, a better score of a, a 5 1 0. But he's, what he's looking for was a 5 9 0. So he still needs to go back to the lineup. Try to uh, position himself. He's now like sitting in a third position behind the three Japanese holding for a priority. And as you can see, uh, the jet ski just passed by. Put your hair on with a 565 and a T10 looking to do something. And this is his last wave on floater. Try to do the big hack there. He did not, uh, irritation didn't succeed. The drawing for tomorrow, we have a quite a bit spread of uh, representation of countries. Here we go. This is Putra Hermon, super strong on that one. That's what Putra is known for super sharp top turn. And uh, if that's going to be a 5 3 6, let's wait for it. So we have two Filipinos in the quarterfinals so far with Philmar and Maramar, and then we also have one Japanese Eugene Nishi, and also one Swedish Tian Martin already took uh, themselves into the quarterfinal. And we're still waiting for this two to surface from this heat, and then two surface from uh, the last heat, and that's where complete our quarterfinals. <laughs> we got a little bit of a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a surprise treatment from uh, the broadcast crew. We, we, were not, we were not ready to uh, have our guest appearance. We were having a, a, a really nice mango steak here from Shaka. Thank you very much. We had a situation at Kesha. Was that Nathan or was that Sam? Thank you guys yeah, for the cool surprise. <laughs> So Joe Azuchi <coughs> still sitting in the first place and now uh, Putra Lemawan, you know, Indonesian surfer from Lembongan Island from Bali. Last wave of 5-7 now pushing Takuto Ota into third. And now Takuto is needing, he's looking for 5-6-0. And Robert Timo is him also not outside, you know, the shooting range of uh, a 6-5. 
everything's still going to happen here. Yeah, I guess a lot of time for everyone. Wow, that's a good one. He's looking for 65. I don't know if this, this, this is the way because the size is not there, but the maneuver is there. So we'll see. And here, our current leader, Joe Azuchi. Uh, yeah, he's super stylish. And then um, the way he serves also is really, really low and super tight. And then, um, you know, whatever maneuver that he did, it's going to create, like, you know, I don't know, it will just impress the judge. Here we go. This is Reed. Takuta, Takuta Ota is, is looking for a 5.6. Also strong right there. Mm, but it, it shows that uh, he also got, uh, he can feel the pressure now because uh, from the second to third, when you're chasing for a score, you will need to, uh, you know, finish that turn and then uh, maybe can change some situation, but we'll see. Okay. So we're still waiting for Robert Kimball. Last wave. Yeah, and then he's looking for a 6 to 5. Nice big uh, area of 360 there. Full rotation. Shout out to the Kapan Duane Exploits. Make sure you're all watching here. Ooh, what happened there? What is it? Just strong water turn on. Yeah, it's super low. You, like, you can see both his hands is almost touching the water when he's doing the bottom turn. That shows how low he, he, he went. Oh, uh, here we go. It looks like uh, Robert Timo is asking for some kind of donation because he's uh, raising his hand. <coughs> to start with. I think mm -hmm. um, green air 360 didn't make it above 5.10. Mm. So five minutes remaining on our next week we have Belmar Mabalona, Ali Anwar, Yara Esquivel, and So we both have a uh, first edition, we're going to start with the quarterfinals, and the final finals. So in total, will be 14 heats, 14 more heats until we're wrap, wrap, wrapping up the Jardal International Surfing Cup presented by San Miguel. It's, it's pumping tomorrow, we get official quality tomorrow, yeah. yeah. I think uh, Jerry Deegan, the contest director, is uh, putting a lot of uh, time checking out the forecast, trying to, uh, you know, figuring out when to finish the event. Because at the end of the day, you will never going to have a good, I don't know, you're never going to remember. Do you remember that first round, hit number seven, it was pumping? No, you're only going to remember how pumping it was in the final. <laughs> so it's, it's, always, it's always important to, to, to have the best for the final. Yeah. So right now, Joe has HDF uh, first priority, Putra has second priority. If Blue didn't go, I think Red going to push it, and Green with uh, priority number four deciding to try to get on that one. That's all about, you know, paddling and tactical there. There we go. Joe has Oh, nice move there from Joe. Yeah, here we go. This is Red also at the back. Putra Herma one. Also super tight maneuver there from Putra. <coughs> Didn't able to, do, to hold that last maneuver. 
everybody needs to be careful. You know, if you keep all the ways open and let the priority go to the other side, because the other side has a full advantage of it. He has to remember what Father did. He did an 8 5, made a good score, and uh, they, they let him go by himself. Catch the nose, a uh, rail of the nose, but able to recover on that one. And this one, which are also nice first turn, but this one kind of losing all the speed on the on the top turn. Here we go, two steps on the back. Surfing white was priority, surfing green, and then the second priority goal to take third and fourth. Here we go, jump with the overflow. Who is deciding to go in and add big boss? He got it out. That could be the score. He already did 5.6. Oh, God, he was behind the curtain. and that was that way deep. He was deep. I have to say he was disappearing. And then when he came out, it, there was a bit of a, you know, like a, an open room for him. See what I mean? He was behind the curtain and came out clean. I have to say he didn't he didn't pull in on the first takeoff uh, finish the takeoff. That could be one of the judges taking a thing like mm, he was he was racing the bell, not you know, not the wave covering him uh, since takeoff, you know, so uh, looks like a seven point five. Oh you got it, I got it. So it looks like any good guys are rewarded with a good high score here. So great job there from Japanese surfer Takuto Oka, moving again to second place. And now Putra Hemawan is looking for a 755, and Robert Jimbo is looking for an 815 with just under 30 seconds to go. Looks like it's going to be a super tough, tough call for these two other surfers. Oh, super strong surfing there from Takuto. Coming back from second. Push back with the third and now going back to second again. Thank you to work out. Super smart. <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, I've got luck for to turn him on and both the rubber Kimbo. And congratulations to the two Japanese surfers, Joe and Takuto. Well surfing and then we'll be back for the last heat of the day. Lindy, she's a gal with the bright red hair. Now nah, she stands out from all the rest. You know her anywhere. Where she's mine. Yeah, she's mine.
we see the uh, opening right from uh, JR trying to do a, a, a backside uh, aerial there. Twenty five minutes, twenty five. Sitting in first and second. Raymar Magaluna, one wave. Engine.
So it's like, I'm going to say, 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 I'm going